caution is advised. Welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm yours truly, the Dave Bath here with the boys, Don Frickin' Prime and Frickin' Moz. Yo! What's up? What up? Yeah, we got questions already, man. People already at single songwriter just hit us right at the beginning, man, before we even came on. Yeah, yeah, you need to chill out with that, man. You need to chill out with these Wow, fans, we, our, our fans are rambunctious this evening. Yeah, I thought maybe Nate would want to share it on the screen and take over from there because this is kind of you know, his show. <laughs> <laughs> now that the armor has been released in HK, does that mean in about three weeks should we start getting emails for our pre-orders? Oh man, I don't know. I don't. Um, know, man. It, uh, again, uh, it all depends. It all depends on how many, but uh, how many? How again? How many batches Sideshow are getting, and how many are in each batch? Now, recently, Sideshow has not been getting their normal allotments in their batches. They've essentially getting micro batches. So instead of full batches, they're only getting like 25% of a batch. They anticipate or 50%. So is it possible? Absolutely. Is it going to guarantee to happen? I can't guarantee you. Again, it's, you could have pre-ordered at the same time somebody else pre-ordered. But, you know, the one microsecond, you know, something in the system means... You know, person A gets it in the first batch, and person B has to wait, you know, six weeks for the next batch to arrive. Who knows? It's a, it's a crapshoot, especially with these re release uh, toy fairs and limited uh, numbers. Yes, the yes, Bow Damage Thanos is coming out. We we did actually did uh, talk about it. It broke broke some rumor news on Sunday on our Sunday stream, uh, Gilbert. That we uh, we actually are we have been told. Um, uh, you know, from our boss of spies, that they know battle damage is coming out. Uh, uh, I spoke with Monica about it. Yes, that they know battle damage is looking to get released, which I'm excited for because that's one of my only figures right now from the end game that I got freaking paid off. So, like, the moment that gets released and makes it over here, makes this battle damage uh, over <laughs> to uh, to United States, I will be able to get the freaking. Uh, Thanos bow damage, like hopefully one of the first few to get it over here in the states. I mean, and, uh, I mean, if you're going for the uh, the death scene snap diorama or even that display, you know, in addition to the battle damage eighty five, if you're still waiting for it, even if you have the normal um, eighty five, you kind of need battle damage Thanos because of the head sculpting, the differences, the fact he has the uh, the nano gauntlet on his arm. You know, it's, again, if you're going for that specific type of display, now normally I'm like, hey, whatever figure is your best version or the one you like most, you can work that in. But that's kind of a specific figure that needs to pair up with Battle Damage to the Dark, especially the head sculpt, if you're going for that exact specific display. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I'm passing on the 85, so. So Gilbert is asking, yo, Nate, do you believe that Battle Damage Thanos will be sitting on the side show like the other Thanos figures? Are you out of your damn mind? Of course it's going to sit. That's Ooh, no. Thanos, no, Thanos be I, sitting. Thanos be sitting, I don't man. think they – here's the thing. Not only – and like other people have commented, other people have said, and I'm in agreement, I don't think they made nearly as many of the Battle Damage ver versions of Thanos – and the ones that do go to retail, I think, will sell before any of the other versions. Because I again, see with that, I could see that. But then the thing is, it's still going to sit, though. That's the problem. No, I, oh, I mean, oh, it's, by it's sit, are we talking sit. three weeks to a month, or are we talking five to six months? Because I don't five think to, battle five to, six months. five to six months. Okay, I mean, I can see that. I personally see this thing selling out potentially within six to seven weeks. Especially if the 85 all of a sudden comes out in early. Again, because it seems like they might have their head sculpt situation a little better under um, under hand, with the, at least with the Tony Stark ones. Yeah. So Yeah, the reason why I'm saying it's, it'll sit is because there's not much more incentive uh, uh, for it to be, you know, c compared to the others. Like, if we had sold the original thing from Infinity War actually sell out... You know, pretty well. Like if it was a sitting, then I'd say yes. I say yes. 
even the even the armor Thanos is still sitting. There's no there like I, I, at some point battle damage Thanos is probably going to suffer the same fate. But because it's limited, we might see it sell out a little sooner. But the thing is still going to sit though. It's still going to have its sitting moment. Like literally Thanos is going to be there sitting. <laughs> sitting right before the Avengers, uh, waiting for someone to buy him. And that's that's what. <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm waiting to get bought. <laughs> instead of him being dusted, he's dusted from waiting on the shelf too long. Yeah, but I think uh, I think Battle Damage Thanos might sell out a little faster than the other two, but it will still sit though. That's the thing. It it will still be sitting. So, but it makes sense because villains always sit. That uh, sit. All villains, all, villains always, you know, just sit on the shelves for a minute because the thing is, not many people purchase them. I, th I think Thanos's big problem with him selling, I think, is a lot to do with the size of the figure itself. I mean, he's big, he's huge and expensive. Um, whereas Iron Man would <clears throat> tip typically at least fit in a detail. Uh, Thanos, I think, is just tall enough to be annoying to place in one of them, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a Thanos, so I can't be sure. No, but. I don't think you can fit him in one shelving. You ha you're going to have to get either one of the modified shelves or remove yeah. one shelf. So I think so, that yeah. might have something to do with the lack of sales on Thanos compared to other things, because, I mean, he was, a, he was a big character. He was a character that everybody, of course, wanted to probably have in their collection, but I think his size did play into uh, some people's decisions to buy him. I mean, I could be wrong. But uh, maybe somebody will comment. Somebody was like, I was going to buy him. And, See, size matters. That's what she said. See? <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what she said. Oh. Um, so, uh, Doyle. Doyle is also saying, how's the underbody in the 501st? Good for articulation? Um, I've, what I've been hearing, that it's a brand new body. So, it's it, it, it'll bring out better articulation from what I've been hearing because of the brand new body. It's not like your original... Uh, storm, uh, clone troopers or stormtroopers. This is a brand new body, just for the clones. Mm -hmm. So it should br be a little bit more articulated than the rest of them. Well, I wouldn't say. Ju okay, I have the five hundred first. It's got ratchet joints for the hips. However, the Coruscant guard it went back to a normal body, so that does not have the same body from what I've heard. Um, but at least for the five hundred first, you can do some pretty nice posing with it. Um, now, my only personal issue is the fact they give you a dynamic display. Um, stand so it's you instead of just the normal crotch driver that you've got the uh, the flexible pole and the um, the clamp so like in figures like those I think they should give you the option of both the crotch grabber and the you know the dynamic pole because um, in, in those situations the pole does kind of limit what you can do um, if you use that stand now if you use another stand with a crotch grabber oh have fun um, yeah, they're pretty cheap on really, those. Yeah, um, the five hundred first body is really good. No, that, that, was, that reminds me. I need to replace the body on my. I, I pulled out my my crow, my Hot Toys crow figure, MMS two ten. Yeah. This week. He needs a new body bad. I was trying to get him to stand, and his legs were literally spaghetti. They were just. <laughs> it's just he uh, would not stand at all. Hey, um, Antonio does bring up a good point, though. He says, "But Hulk has the same problem as Thanos as for size as, as goes." What a thing! What a thing is. A lot of people, more people are going to go after the hero, which is Hulk, compared to the villain. Yeah, that's where like, the villain versus hero might play. But I don't think anybody's going to buy that in-game Hulk. I mean, I know. No, Hulk's, I'm nobody, just like, nobody. That thing is ugly. Say again. They're going to be like sideshow's going to be giving out the end-game Hulks as prizes, like they ended up giving out their sideshow Deadpool's as prizes. Yeah. I even got one. So. Um, it was kind of like, and Native, I have talked about this before, and it's like, why did you make this figure? Why didn't you give us a, a an Avengers 2.0 with the Ruffalo merged Hulk head head sculpt? You know, when they first, you know, jump back into 2012, um, and he starts messing, you know, faking mm -hmm. up, you know, taking the bike and, you know, That's smashing the cab and throwing there. it. Instead of in a, wearing a, a one-piece, you know, like he's going to go swimming at the beach. Like yeah, 1920s that's, that's one what I piece. feel about yeah. that figure. It's just so weird to me. That 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 Hulk is not purchasable. Like what they should have done was either uh, gave us if you were gonna go with full on Professor Hulk, they should have gave us that look he had when he met up with uh, with uh, Ant Man, giving him the two tacos. You know that that would have been a fine. look. That would have been good. Or in the uh, or in the diner, you know, have the outfit and just let him yeah. go. 
with the jeans and you could take off the shirt and have the ripped looking Hulk at you know exactly. the back of time. Or mm -hmm. you know, put the shirt on and you could do the diner scene, you know, just whatever. Or even or even when he was actually being Professor Hulk and building or ha sending uh, uh, sending Scott through time. Or well, sending Scott sending time through Scott. That would have been a good outfit with the glasses and the it. EPR paradox. Yeah. Yeah, so pajamas Hulk. Is that what everybody's saying? Is that what pajamas no, Hulk? it's birth control Hulk. <laughs> birth control Hulk. Yeah, I feel yeah, with those glasses. Yeah. Hot Toys could have, you know, gone even further. Like, if you want to give us a person for Hulk, they should have gone even further with the looks. You know, and then I would have like, okay, I I'll buy this because, you know, they went full on with it. With gymnastics Hulk, I'm like, it doesn't fit right with me. I'm like. Come on, that's Olympics Hulk, then. If we're going to go gymnastics, that's, that's Olympic Hulk. Nah, it's, it, it was it was not it was not a fun figure like they should have gone with the avengers 2.0 like they did with the uh, loki avengers 2.0 that would have been cap. perfect yep so so ben was saying uh and i'm trying to remember what exactly i was saying about the 501st because i don't have one but he, he said uh so it's true about the 501st the armor plate slipped off on me loads when posing are you referring to the the plates impacting and keeping you from being able to pose i just want to be clear on that because i think he might mean like the, the thigh plates because, I mean, even those come up and down on the sideshow ones. So, hmm. I don't have that problem with my Stormtrooper with the thigh plates going up and down. Yeah, I, I mean, my 501st, yeah, I, I think it's just the way they designed it. They're supposed to be movable in a little way. They're not supposed to be that tight that they can't move. Mm -hmm. um, again, even when you watch the Clone Wars, the um, anybody who's in the, um, the live-action one, sorry, Attack of the Clones and Revenge, anybody who's in an actual suit that's not cgi when they move around oh. it's oh, yeah, it's organic arm. to how they move so he's referring to the arm plates the the bracers yeah those things are are pain in the ass on about any character that wears bracers really not just stormtroopers or anything like that any character's got bracers on getting their hands back on or taking oh the them, gauntlets yeah the the bracers so they're not gauntlets gauntlets would be a glove the bracers um yeah, that it's a trip, man. Especially my predators, they all have bracers in it. It's just so infuriating to try to deal with that. But you know, uh, I think we're gonna get some new predators though with skull coming out. Well, it, maybe one predator because that's they're saying that it's gonna be only one predator versus. The we're gonna get predator. an army of predators. I want an army of predators. You know, I have I, an I, army I, of predators. I, yeah, I want to. I want to remake of AVP. I want a remake of AVP so we get more predators in the mix. I want more predators. I want to move. I want the L. I want to see the Elder Predator fighting in 1715 on the on the galleons, and that how you know. And if you have read the comic, to find out how he actually got that pistol, which he later gave to Danny Glover. Imagine predators with pirates on the high seas. Does that not sound like an awesome movie? Well, it was a good story. So. Uh, let's see. Hulk needs three head sculpts. And a head professor. So, guys, uh, pretty much this is a recap video of the of what SciShow had for Hot Toys DC figures. And uh, it, it was a it was underwhelming because, <laughs> you know, it, it was it's only 44 seconds of, of material here with the mm -hmm. with a 10 second intro. And so and Sunday was it, even more underwhelming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the seventh day, like you were expecting. We're going to have new ones on our booth every tour. New Hot Toys. Sunday was nothing new for Hot Toys. Yeah. Nothing. nothing. Yeah. It I'm was not going to lie. That, no, the, the, DC, no extra the, DC stuff. It was just the same stuff for, that are up in pre order right now. Uh, yeah. For as far as Hot Toys. Now, the only. I mean, I'm not going to lie that, that the Justice Buster, aka the, 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 uh, the Bat Hulk Buster. That thing was impressive. Not gonna lie, yeah. I didn't even know it existed until I saw that. So, I think it was a Dark Knight metal thing, but don't quote me on that. You know, it'd be nice if they do. If they give uh, this, I know there's the prototype, but I, I would like if they uh, could update the head sculpt a bit more. They need to uh, give him the mustache. <laughs> give him a mustache. <laughs> this is like the weakest issue of a hot toy I've ever seen. Just paint the thing black and sell it. And people are buying it. This is the insane thing. Well, there, there are more people are buying this because of for the, the Nightmare Batman reissue. Yeah, for the Nightmare Batman. That's more people I've seen posts on Facebook ever since this release. They have said, "Hey, I'm buying the Nightmare Batman. 
does anybody want my Superman for 200 or, you know, go half and half with me? If they've done they him with a beard like they should have done, I mean, he should have had facial hair growth the entire time he was dead. No, you need a, you need a uh, special edition bonus interchangeable mustache. Because when Superman came back in the 90s, he, I believe he started with yeah, a beard he, and a mullet. He came out with the mane and the yeah. freaking beard. I'm like, yeah. I didn't that why I'm yeah like, it was like late 90s ro like pseudo rocker yeah the late the late 80s pseudo rocker everybody had that does power ballads day. even i wanted a mullet back then because i didn't know it was a mullet i was just like it's long hair i want long hair and now i have no hair so you know we all got good. no hair man but you uh hair. That, but barely mm -hmm. but I see uh, you, that hat. you get a hair yeah yeah uh it's uh, it's it's uh it's it's like it's get, it's getting out. That's the thing. It's getting out eventually. My hair is gonna be gone. They're gonna be like uh, what's his name? Um, uh, um, like us? Like, like, yeah, like you guys? Like you guys? Yeah, like Picard. Like Picard? Yeah. Um, let me see. Ben Diesel. I saw the picture of my 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 uh, Dark Fury in just today for tomorrow's Instagram post. Yeah, everybody's been posting a lot of those, a lot, a lot of photos of that character now, or customized figures. He's not customized. He's just, uh, I don't know if I can say the term here. <laughs> he doesn't third have party. a license, Lisa. <laughs> third, third party. Third party. Um, but I, 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 what I was going to say before we went to say, oh yeah. Zack Snyder, I don't mind Zack Snyder, but the problem is like he doesn't know what he's doing when it comes with DC uh, stories. Like he doesn't, he does not know what he's doing. He says he's a fan, but I'm like, I love his direction, I love his looks. The problem is, I wish he brought more people that know, you know, more of the lore and stuff. They need to do a Nicolas Cage Superman. Yes, Superman lives. I wouldn't buy it, but. They need to do it just because I can. I want to laugh. Oh, have, I mean, have you seen the documentary on that? Yes. The, actually, oh my God. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, he's like he explains the hat. My hat. If you've been like Moz can attest to this, I've been having my Gundam hat since the dawn since the dawn of this channel of geeking out. I know people ain't gonna go back and watch my older content about <laughs> more Funko Pops and stuff. I really and, wish somebody would burn that thing. And movie reviews, okay? <laughs> so, if you go back, I had, like, curly hair all over the place. And I still had my hat on. The thing is, I never liked my curly hair. That's the problem. The curly hair was all over the place. It was like a, like a freaking, like, uh, curly Geeking out hair salon. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> got, a, my hair just got annoying, man. I mean, that's why I wore, uh, that's why I my, wore my hats, because my hair was just like, pfft. that was the problem. <laughs> that was the problem. Actually, you know what? If I had, if, if I, the bottom of I spent on hot toys, I could just spend it on uh, uh, recovering my hair. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> but yes, there you go. I love that. The hair loss is one. <laughs> the, I don't know. I lost my hair way before, before hot toys collecting. Oh, yeah, but me too. Comic book collecting. You know, that's what I used to do. I mean, I still own comic books, but yeah. Yeah, I, I started to lose mine after wearing your helmets. So. I doubt that was it. Uh, again, like if you see some of the like before we got like I just say this for army helmets before we got like the new ones with like the padding inside. Literally, it was you wore a ring around your head, and then it was literally like yeah, that that definitely contributed, especially the old K pots. Yeah, is that, is that heavy infantry Mandalorian with a Batman helmet? Yes, that's what it is. It's heavy infantry Mandalorian with a Batman helmet. It looks like yes. the same body. <laughs> This thing is massive, though, man. Shoot. We'll that see. We'll see. Comment of the night. We'll see. Comment of the night. You should have used. Soul glow. Soul glow. Let your soul I don't need a glow. Jerry, you know? I need to keep my hair. Oh. Dude, I, I can't wait for this XC suit, bro. I, I can't wait. Wait, anyway, not Vin Diesel. Um, um, uh, what's his name? I, wait, I don't uh, know. Damn, damn. What's his name? Shoot. I, Vin Diesel was one of them, but who else? Uh, McLean, John McLean, <laughs> Bruce John Willis, McLean. Bruce Willis. There you go. You, you, you know they teased us with the Die Hard Six. But yeah, they, ended up being they can tease themselves with that. I have no interest after the last thing they put out. Yeah, nah, it's ridiculous. 
Um, but I I am enjoying this suit, but the thing is, they can't drop the XC suit Batman without giving us the damn... Um, Mr. Freeze? Mr. Freeze. They, we have to get the Mr. Freeze with this. We have to. Like, why would you put out the XC suit without giving us the Mr. Freeze? Hell, even the, the base got the freeze in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. They, they probably are going to go that route then, especially with that base giving that away. They, they, they're going to have to. They're going to have to. I can't say no. I, like, I'm still going to get this suit, but I'm, I'm hoping that Hot Toys deliver us with the damn uh, Mr. Freeze. Like, they're going to have to. Well, how? Yeah. Wait, hold on. How does how does the uh, Suicide Squad have a hundred percent Rotten Tomatoes? It's not out yet, is it? When's it coming? Uh, next no, no, uh, the, the reviews Friday. Are out now. The Friday, reviews are so out I'll be able to turn on HBO Max reviews. Friday and watch it. Probably. I mean, I, th I think at this point the embargo has been lifted as far as reviews of people who were given early access to do reviews. So I mean, at this point, if ratings are starting, that means the embargo has been lifted. They probably just lifted at twelve o'clock or something like that. Um, but at least, so far, so good. Um, um, Gilbert, um, I think that Hot Toys are going to go full on with the Suicide Squad. Especially if we got that 100% Rotten Tomatoes that is going to do well in theaters. We're probably going to see... I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping that we get at least three. And if we get the three I want, I want Harley Quinn, I want uh, uh, Ildris Alba, um, let's see, that's, uh, Bloodsport, and then King Shark, I'm good. I am good for, for King Shark. Well, you know they've made a prototype of. So. I know they made a prototype, but they you know how they do the hot toys. Yes, they make, uh, they uh, make uh, here's the thing: yeah. We're, if if it's good enough, they're gonna do John Cena and Peacemaker. That's too. I forgot about John Cena. Yeah, they're gonna do Peacemaker because again, like I they're said, they're working on a spinoff project for him, right? What was that? So they already got a head sculpt for John Cena with Bocaton, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't even need a whole head sculpt. They can just, you know, use the just bottom the chin. Off. Exactly. Just tear off, add a little stubble, because you know, male, you know, yeah, right. We kid, we kid, we kid. Wait, yeah, XC we Batman or armored Batflick? Um, I like the armored Batflick. Uh, you you can pull, you barely pours them, but he looks nice. Pull I mean, I'll be honest. This is more realistic. You know, if you had to take the two of them. That's more realistic than oh, the wow. uh, ended. This video ended. Wow. Pull, pull me up a bat flick there, uh, uh, Nate. Oh, you want to? You want? want a bat flick figure? Uh, picture yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to critique and 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 go into exactly why I'm going to choose the XC Batman. Okay, I'll pull up some pictures. Give me a second. Wow. You so you're really against the bat flick uh, armor? It's not the armor per se. It's. We'll go. We'll go into it. Just wait, wait till you bring one up. All right, cool. Uh, do you want the just promotional pictures? I don't care. Whatever one okay. looks like the hot toy. <laughs> Whatever one looks like the hot toy. Okay. I really like it. I, I have him right here. Well, pull like, him, not put here, here. so we can see it. Nah, he's he's on he's on a freaking uh, display don't, kit. I can't pull him up. Don't be self. Don't be selfish. No, no, he's he's gonna stay where he is, man. Oh, you have one? No, I no, I have one. I I just have him um in my in my display case. I can't pull him out right now. There you go, armored Batman. I'll premium for me. God damn it, not this one. <laughs> there you go. I found it. Oh wow! I was like, what was that? No, freaking Moz is falling asleep because I'm thinking it's not prayer. I'm like, Moz, I didn't have a prayer for this. What? <laughs> I didn't have a prayer for you. Where's my Batman? On freaking armored Batman. <laughs> I don't care about armor, just one of the bat flex, man. Wow. That... Ooh. There you go. What is he doing with his face? Can we zoom? All right. See, the, the, the armor isn't as bad. Um, but go to I a regular I mean, bat fleck. I know this took you a while, but go to a regular bat fleck. You and, want a regular bat fleck? Yes. Okay, it can be a, Nightmare Batman. I don't care. It could just be a, regular, uh, just a regular, just a regular Batman. Okay. Let me see. They would, they would pop it up here, but nah, they, they don't got it here. 
Actually, actually, a Nightmare Batman will work. Yes. Any 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 bat fleck besides the armor because you can't see any of his face with the armor. There you go, found it. Now, oh, now you done messed it up. There you go, found it. All right, not that pose. That pose. Oh, you want a different pose? You want yeah. a different pose? One without him screaming. <laughs> that actually doesn't screen. look too bad there. But he's he's constantly screaming though. Batflake's constantly screaming. What are you talking about? No, he's not. <laughs> all right, here this is this is perfect. All right, look look how how wide this helmet is around his jaw, and then how thin it makes his face look, and then how his eyes his eyes just look so weird in the, the helmet. <laughs> just the 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 mask just seems huge. And there's that little head inside. Am I the only one that sees that? Yeah, especially I mean, it depends the part, on the skull. On, on the far right. That one yeah, where really, it looks like... I don't know. It looks yeah, like he's waiting like he, The one on the far right. Yeah, he's like, Oh, I, I, got, a, I got a turtle head poking out. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the, the mask itself just okay, seemed yeah. way oversized for his head. And and it makes his head look it's look it's squished. Like he went to a fun house and it disproportionate everything on his face. And even in the movies it looks like <laughs> that. Maybe it's the neck. I I I can't put my finger exactly on it, but it could be the neck too. Okay, so you prefer the exe suit over the armor. Yes, this is why I would prefer the exe suit, because it looks nothing like that. <laughs> It looks nothing like that. If you take that head scalp off and put like this on, this head scalp, it'd be awesome. Wait, so take the XE suit and put it on the. Uh, no, I'm talking head. about the, the bat fleck. You take the bat fleck head scalp off and you put something like this one on, he'd look awesome. See how his face fills out and the mask is not covering like all of his face? So that that face on him would be so much better. Nah, I got you. Nah, I, like I, I'm enjoying the aesthetics uh, when it comes to the the uh, Zack Snyder lore and stuff like that with Batman's. But as far as like uh, story is concerned, it needs to get better. But we'll see what happens with the um, the Flashpoint movie. It looks like they're putting out some new Batman suits slash vehicles in it. So. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that yeah. bike. Here. That thing looked like a Tron reject. <laughs> no, that wasn't. That <laughs> looks more like a Dodge Tomahawk. That looks like a Dodge Tomahawk that was modified. Sure, I've never oh. seen that, but sure. Okay, you remember so, the Dodge Viper? The car, yes. Yeah. All right. Imagine a V12 Dodge Viper engine that was basically modified to a chassis that can hold. Uh, Two front wheels and two rear wheels in a space just barely big enough to hold this place for you to sit, and then you know, basic controls. It was a, it was basically a con concept vehicle, but it like caught they, on they and they pushed it down to, to be like really thin. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so that would imply it's that it's called the Tomahawk. <laughs> that would give it too much credit, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's because it's like that design or what they're trying to do. It's basically, you know, like fighter jets. They have to have a certain basic design, you know, for aeronautical reasons and for lift and drag. So what if if you're going to do something, put a super huge big engine in a bike, you have to design like it that way for wheel. stability. It didn't, look like it, the, it didn't look like you can turn the wheel at all. And I agree, Loco Lou, man, a Killer Croc would be an awesome figure. Yeah, uh, Killer Croc. They did it right, like Arkham, like Arkham's Killer Croc. Oh, Killer Croc? That'd be good. Yeah, yeah, Arkham, yeah, Arkham Killer Croc would be really nice. And that's, I, I hey, if they keep pushing all these freaking um, figures for Arkham, not Arkham video game, hey man, uh, bring us a freaking Killer Croc. I don't mind it. Yeah, the first Arkham game is the one I remember Killer Croc from. Um, the hell, Arkham Asylum? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that one called? Oh yeah, just Arkham Asylum. So. You know, with the success, supposed success of what we might see from uh, Suicide Squad, I know they're probably going to drop a few prototypes on because, like, you know, they didn't want to drop yeah. all DC 
uh, last month. So because they want they want the August to be you know DC Summerfest. I'm guessing that we are going to get you know a lot more Suicide Squads you know because of the movie coming out, and of course we might see the Cyborg. Here's the thing though they keep they keep uh, promoting the Justice League figures. I I I wouldn't be I wouldn't doubt that Hot Toys decides they want to reissue the whole Justice League with. Uh, the Snyder cut packaging. Well, they should have announced that sooner, though. Like when when the Snyder cut launched, because I think the interest has kind of waned already. Uh, I know mine has, um, but that's just me. Well, and, you know, and, Hot Toys have done this before. Hell, they came out with Cable like what two years? Not even came out. They came out with a pre order for Cable after two years mm-hmm. that movie released. You know, was that long? Deadpool. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was about two years. I think um, th- didn't uh, Deadpool two come out in 2017, 2016? two thousand seventeen, two thousand sixteen? Yeah, but Deadpool two was twenty eighteen. I mean, he's not Deadpool two was twenty eighteen. Ah, twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. So yeah, it's been it's been two years. But uh, the cap- collectors is a uh, oh, no, not collector. Who was it? Um, where'd it go? Who uh, we talking about? Who we talking about, Boz? Uh, if I could remember, I would be able to find it. <laughs> you failing me, Moz. You failing me, Moz. Uh, Killer Croc. Uh... Oh, uh, Loco Lou says in Origins also Killer Croc was in that. And I wanted to comment real quick on my my thoughts on Batman Origins. Uh, shit game, complete garbage. Uh, I, I I skip it every time. Uh, I go to play it because the combat system is like really clunky compared to the other two games. So that's why I just wanted to mention that. Let me see. Alvin is asking, do you think and when and if Cyborg's available for you, or do you think it will have a limited release special edition also? No, I don't think it's going it, to. The only thing that will probably, because the thing is, it's not part, like, if it was going to be a limited exclusive figure, they would have had it as a Toy Fair exclusive, like one among the three or four, or whatever they were planning on with the Toy Fairs. If that was the case, then yes, it would have been limited, kind of like the armor. But no. because it's outside that Toy Fair exclusive, depending on the price, depending on the hype for the figure, we might not get a lot of pre-orders for it because people are probably not interested in Cyborg. The only people who are interested in Cyborg are maybe on our side of the freaking pond versus the other side. So it just depends on how well it's pre-ordered on that side of the pond. Now here's the thing though, I quote, because they did Black Suit Superman and the Nightmare 2 pack, I potentially could see them doing a normal version, like a collector's version and an exclusive version. Now again, it all depends, are they going to include the back arms? Yeah, well it they... looks like they are including the back arms in this picture here. Of the, okay, um, I'll just of say this, if, if they include the back arms, I would say the instead of a hologram... Or anything like that. Um, that I say the deluxe version would might be the M134 minigun that we see him using in the end of the in the nightmare scene, because at that point you can also position him next to Batman, and it, you know just like in the end uh, at the very end of that nightmare sequence. So I, I potentially could see them basically saying, you know, if you, the deluxe edition you're getting the the M134 electric uh, Gatling gun. So, hmm. no, no, yeah, I, I could see that happening. I could see that, you know, exclusives for that, you know, the exclusive uh, accessory weapon or whatever, kind of like what they did with the uh, Mark One and the Boa Fett um, exclusives. Um, but as far as like um, being it as a limited figure, the only limited figure is going to be the accessories. That's the only I don't thing think there's going to be a high production run on them anyway. I mean, I understand he's getting the front and center here on this billboard, but I think Cyborg is going to have a smaller production run than most figures. Um, oh yeah, it will be. It will be because he's but a very said, neat character that not not even every DC collector wants him. Yeah, um, especially if um, I've, I've been it's been it's been hinted that it might be a pricey figure. So I if it's pricey as hell, like a Iron Man would be. Then who's gonna buy it? Then like, oh, if I'm gonna spend an Iron Man money on a Cyborg, I could spend it. I'm gonna spend my Iron Man, Man money on the Mark One. Ex- you know exactly. <laughs> if it ends like Hot Toys, better not put this price as an Iron Man. 
if they do, they it's going to just fend off collectors. I think it's going to be around 350-ish. That's my call. 350? If it, it comes also, with that deluxe version. A deluxe version look for, from the... Oh. Uh, from the I'm, I might the say I'm going to go first. 330 to 340, especially if they put diecast in limited areas. Because you know that'll be the next complaint. You know it doesn't have diecast or you know whatever. So maybe they'll put diecast in the joints or something like that. The, but the diecast thing is such a sham. I mean, I got an Iron Man Mark Seven diecast, and it's a very minimal amount of diecast in it. It just kind of weights the figure. It doesn't really. Make yeah, but they'll feel cheated. Dollars. They'll feel cheated if they're paying that price. So I mean, yeah, it's one of those. Diecast is gonna be over four though. All their diecast has been over four. Local Lou, are you out of your damn mind? Freaking four hundred dollars. Are if it's diecast, it's, it's what it's going to come out to. Oh my God! Do not do that to me. I I want to pick up Cyborg. I like Cyborg. Okay, four hundred dollars. That's freaking Iron Man. Like I could spend it on another Iron Man. God. What I mean, Iron Man do you need, Nate? All of them. What? All which one are? Them. Which ones are out right now that you haven't already ordered? Um, I haven't picked. Up, I haven't ordered Midas yet. So Midas? I need to order Midas. The do you golden... need the Midas, really? Yes, need the I gold do. Iron Man? I do. I do need the Golden Iron Man. You know why? For 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 Hot Potty Protocol, okay, collection. Don't I don't need... encourage them to keep splurging out Iron Mans just for the sake of making an Iron Man. I mean, next hey, thing you hey, know, hey, you're hey. Just it's their Iron money. Man. They can you do whatever they want. You're fucking pops with your chromes. Hey, hey, there's a reason we put an advisory label on the beginning of our videos and streams. We're okay. not being held responsible for what in you and your wallet engage in. Well, that's, you know, our PSA for the evening. So. <laughs> now, I can see, I can see <laughs> two versions of, yeah, I can see two versions of the cyborg. You know, for the one for the collector edition and then one for, you know, the deluxe the edition of that figure with those different accessories. What I'm hoping for Hot Toys though is when they they they, they gotta drop the reissue pre-orders on the Just League game. I that's what I want them to do. I want you them want to Just give League us Aquaman. I know you do. I already have him. Oh, I... yeah. Were you looking him. for one? And you didn't? I thought you didn't get it. No, 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 I got it because someone uh helped me out the 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 day I posted that years ago when um not years ago a year ago when the sideshow decided to cancel my Aquaman. And then I posted it on uh, Cisco Network, and there were, and and um, they, uh, yeah, my buddy Vega hit me up like, "Hey man, I got the cyborg for for pretty much." Mean free. Aquaman? So I'm like, "Yep, cyborg, I, cyborg on my Aquaman for for um, <laughs> retail." I was like, "Hell yeah, let me pick it up." So I got the cyborg. I got all the Batman's except for Nightmare. We don't Batman. have a cyborg. Stop saying I got, cyborg. I don't. Why well, keep saying cyborg? My bad. <laughs> I have I have all the bad bands. I have Superman. I have Aquaman. I don't have Flash yet because I'm like I, I'll wait till the new Flash. I don't like the Flash. The look of the Flash in this movie. So no, I'm I don't like it. There was the Flash at all. Yeah, I'm waiting for a better looking a Flash for me. I was like Grant Gustin. They should have just pulled him over, but no, they got to go Ezra Miller, who apparently can't even run. Um, but. Uh, yeah, Arkham Asylum should do, or they should do an Arkham Asylum Scarecrow figure. That would be an awesome piece. In fact, that'd probably be a piece that I would probably buy, um, just because he would look pretty awesome. But uh, and you know, I was giving you grief about all the Iron Mans, but I I do have one of each Mandalorian on pre-order or already in possession. So yeah, when I say but, that, I mean just Din Djarin, not not even <laughs> Boba Fett. But so I'm just giving you, know you grief. Mate. I know, man. It's all good. But another one is the Wonder Woman, though. I, I'm i getting the Golden Armor Wonder Woman. But I wouldn't mind the Justice League Wonder Woman to get released as a uh, release, re release as well, because I would like to have her in that collection. Um, See, I, reason... I, I disagree there. If, if I had ordered that Golden Armor or Wonder Woman and then saw the movie, I would have canceled that order. Because, yeah. the For one, I never thought the armor looked that good. And then for two, the movie just tainted any kind of like i would have had for it no i feel you on that i don't i don't like the movie either it's a fun movie but it's, i don't like it i wouldn't even say it's um, fun but okay like it's like it's like popcorn fun like oh let me put this no on. no i, I that's been on my popcorn during that one but again i don't i don't like the movie but I, I don't mind the suit i think the suit looks nice so that's why i'm still getting it 
And I also love that uh, head sculpt they're they're bringing out the uh, okay. the head sculpt with the with the hair. I'm like, damn, that, that could be another uh, that could be another um, um, Gamora. Well, collect what you like, man. Collect what you like. I'm just saying where I stood I, on it. Some people had I, my. I can't opinion. say no to my girl Gal Gadot, man. I can't say no to her, man. <laughs> I can no. <laughs> no, no, don't do that to me, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else can they. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, wait, Blitzway is making a Voltron. I missed this memo. Wait, did you? Yeah. Did you miss oh, it? Blitzway Voltron. I'm gonna see it. It's. I think it's okay. six ninety nine. Yeah. I don't need to see it. <laughs> like I read, I read some comments. Like people are like, oh, it's, it's like six ninety nine and all that. And then they're like, yeah, at that price, I'll look for the, you know, the what is it, the soul, of, the soul of Shonkin version. Let me see if Saisha still has uh, ha No, Saisha doesn't have it. Oh my god, Wongi! Yo, someone made a statue of Wongi! It's only a 15 inch or a 15 inch figure? Oh yeah, my I, god. Can't, I can't give, spend $700 on a 15 inch figure. Give me a second. I got I got this is one of my favorite one of my favorite monster movies of all time. The Valley of Wongi. Who did that that statue of Voltron though with the cartoons? Was it Prime oh 1 or was it even Sideshow? Ace Toys did Gwangi, the statue. Oh my god, nice. what's this? The deluxe edition with this. Oh my god, what? Did you just hit the pre order button? Wait, wait. Oh my god, he has the wing. He's biting up the wing of the turret actor he fought against. Oh my god, Gwangi. Oh my god, I love this Allosaurus. This was before, you know, T Rex became the the, the the king of the monsters. The king of the monsters. King of the, the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. You know? Yeah. Before that, it was the Allosaurus. Everybody, their mother loved the Allosaurus before T Rex came in and took the throne. Man, I love this Gwangi, man. Oh my! It was cowboys versus dinosaurs. That's what the Valley of Gwangi movie is. If you guys ever checked it out, man. Uh, if there was one movie that I would love Hollywood to remake, with, especially with the dinosaur trend, it would be the Valley of Gwangi. You know, it's cowboys versus dinosaurs. Ah, yeah, I damn. saw the, the the prequel to this or whatever, Cowboys versus Aliens or whatever, and that was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'll now you were gonna pull up the Voltron from Blitzway, right? And then you yeah, got yeah, sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I saw the I saw the Guangi. I gotta say hello to my Guangi, bro. Yes, that's Gwangi. fine. Just they didn't want you to lose focus of what we originally went there for. Dude, it was it, it's literally Cowboys versus Dinosaurs, man. The Valley of Guangi. It gets very nostalgic when you watch well, it. You're like, I love right cowboys and I love dinosaurs. That's the perfect. That's the perfect. What if your deluxe uh, one sells out? You're gonna run into that. Oh, 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 oh! What was? Oh God, that reminds. What was the toy line? I I don't know. I might be aging myself. Dino Riders. You remember that toy line from the '80s? Dino Riders. Ooh, no, yeah. I that yeah. Uh, literally, it was humans go somehow end up back in time, or dinosaurs are shifted, or whatever. And literally, you know, you're harnessing the dinosaurs and they're building, like, weapons platforms on the dinosaurs and walking them into battle. You know? Is this diecast? Is this diecast? Hmm. And then somebody said it transforms? What does it mean? It means you pull it apart and you can have the cats or what? Yeah. Is this like a reissue of the original Matchbox one or whoever the Japanese producers were? Well, it almost seems like they're doing... Um, if anybody who collects, you know, Transformers or Masterpiece stuff, they're almost, it almost looks like they're doing the setup that they do with Devastator, where, you know, his tor like the bottom part of his torso and his thighs are actually a separate attachment piece. So. So it's only 14 inches tall. That's even smaller than 15 inches. True story. I think it was 14. Let me see. What's the size here? 14 inches. Oh, that's why they say 15 because it's 14.96 inches. When assembled. When assembled. Now, who did the statue? It looked really good. It had the, the it was from the animated show though, the new show. It was a statue that put out either was it Prime One or Sideshow. Um, that was really cool looking, man. I was so tempted to buy that. They had it over at uh, Steel Collectibles here. You remember Steel Collectibles, right, Nate? You been there? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I uh, remember when, when uh, Bob Funko Pops. <laughs> well, they still they sell hot toys there too, when they have them. Yeah, yeah here's and the thing. And Sideshow and Prime One and. Um, 
What? I think there was a statue. Who was it? Yeah, Prime that's what one I was that asking. That's not a statue, though. Let me see here. Hold on. Uh, Voltron statue. There it is. Who makes that? It does look nice, though. But for seven hundred dollars, out of stock, and it was uh, by sideshow. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, mean, I, 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 sh I shouldn't be complaining about the price because I'm I'm purchasing that freaking. You know, I'm actually debating station. about. Yeah, I'm debating about like putting my money on the on this versus the power station at this point. I see you a link to the uh, statue, uh, by the way, in the uh, in our chat here. Now, yeah, I, um, I was half yeah. tempted to buy this when when I first saw it, man. This is this was beautiful. Yeah, Black Protect. Imagine a three zero G one Devastator. Um, yeah, my Devastator, my masterpiece um, one is what tw almost two feet tall, so it would ha like the three zero one would literally at that scale have to be at least twenty eight, twenty nine inches. But you see, so. the price kept me away from that. Go to one of the close ups of it. We don't need to see Jerry. See, Bob I don't or... like that version though. That's almost looks too organic. This is the uh, the newest version that came out in the shows on Netflix. Yeah, I don't like it's too organic. I when you see that statue in person, dude, it, it doesn't matter. It just looks phenomenal. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Buy it. <laughs> yep. But I, I don't know, man. I I I would go with the classic uh, Voltron up for seven hundred dollars, though. But yeah. see, it looks like the classic, but it is more organic, which is the only thing. It's not bad. I, li I like it. I think it's awesome. But it's I don't beautiful. buy statues, so. No, neither exactly. Do the one statue that almost got me to buy a statue was that Dark Knight statue they did. I think that was also, I think that was a prime one. Um, Light up eyes! Oh, they're going! Oh, they're going ham. Yeah, they had this one over. <sighs> In time. Um, Let me see. What's this? You can get a Boba Fett. Steel collectibles. You can get a Boba Fett with throne and the armor for six hundred and sixty nine, and will retain their value. <laughs> There's the Dark Knight statue, Nate. I sent you a link for that too. Yep, that's logic right there for you, folks. That's collector logic. This is a Prime uh, One statue. Prime One's been killing it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Prime One's been killing it. I'm surprised they haven't, you know, reached out and started doing their own distribution deals as far as, you know. Dear God, that thing is, that thing yeah. is freaking. freaking and you can uh, replace that with the gun, the battery, you can replace that with the gun. Really? Wow. Yeah. They had that over at Steel Collectibles. I saw that in person. It was just gorgeous. I was like, man. Really? i Funko Pops. <laughs> It was huge too, man. This thing was like three feet tall. Three feet tall. For for less than a grand, considering you know, Voltron was a grand, actually twelve hundred. Yeah, but for the, I mean, Voltron would probably appeal, appeal to a wider audience than this version of Batman, because this is, I mean, as great as you know, this Frank Miller's Batman is. This is almost niche compared to the general Batman market, you know. Nah, Again, man. that's my opinion, I, and well, I've said before, I don't know that much about DC, so if I'm wrong... Of, well, most of the time, people that do mention you know, Frank Miller's um, Batman or Dark Knight is just that moment where um, he gets on his armored Batman and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. That's pretty much you know the most talked-about moment. From... That's what they used to try to pitch BVS before uh, you know we knew better. <laughs> When they did the first teaser back in what 2014? Yeah. Yeah, there was no plan. Uh, you no read plan. an expert out of the book? Yeah, there was no plan with it. Like, at least, you know, it was built up for that fight. But we've not. Nah, it's, it's just. It's just. It was a strange thing. They just threw us this freaking fight with Superman and Batman. I'm like, there was not even point of a fight. Because I, at that point, Batman knew it was. Um, it, it was. Um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name that 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 acted like uh, Lex Luthor? It, it was it was like fake Lex Luthor. What? Okay. Fake Lex Luthor. What was his name? What, what are you talking about? 
in uh, BVS. I forgot the name of the actor. Oh, Eisenberg? Jesse Eisenberg? I, yes, Jesse Eisenberg playing the fake Lex Luthor. Okay. But is he a fake Lex Luthor? No, I'm, I'm calling it fake Lex Luthor. Cause he I mean, they shaved his head now. <laughs> his performance was good. The problem is he wasn't a Lex Luthor. But they did hint that uh, it, through the movie that he is the son of Lex Luthor, but it's actually, you know, uh, the actual... If, if, but... I'm, I was really hoping it was just a son of Lex Luthor, but no, it's not. Lex it was Luthor actually Lex Luthor. And, and, hey, uh, Nate, Nate. What's up? Execute order 66. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm like, going through my oh, oh, my computer. I keep forgetting to look at the numbers of the people. But, yes, execute order 66 on the likes. And if you've, been, if you've made it this far on our stream, please hit that like or subscribe if you're enjoying this um, feed. Yes, also, smash. the fact that... I, you know what's funny? The, the the funny thing about um, the, the streams and videos, we're still like half the people that watch us has not subscribed yet. I'm like, wow, still about half, about 44%. So, subscribe, folks. We're free. Yeah. We're, we don't cost any money. And we're back, probably putting out better Lex. content than most of the networks out there. Back to Lex Luthor, by far still the best representation was uh, Michael Rosenbaum. So any kind of movie or television. Best Lex Luthor re representation. I like Gene Hackman. Hackman would have been fine, but his character wasn't defined well enough. All he was was like some real estate tycoon that didn't want to pay the proper channels to get real estate. That's not Lex Luthor. <laughs> there's, more, there's more to that to Lex Luthor. So, I mean, well, if you're going to make that as a complaint, then Kevin Spacey is the, like that 10,000 times on steroids. Oh, yeah, yeah. His literal they're both, plan they're is the real estate. Problem. That's why Rosenbaum was awesome. Rosenbaum was awesome. Best Lex Luthor. <laughs> Features, LED, light up eyes, fully articulated, combined with five lines to create the Voltron, box content, lava cannon, plasma flash cannon, mouth blade. You know, it comes with a lot of stuff. Um, I might be considering to pick this up, but I, I, what I realized is that SciShow has not got this yet. I'm surprised. Like Comic Con has been. They don't do a lot of Blitzway over on Sideshow. Um, just the vehicles, really, is all I ever see over there. Yeah, I don't know if Blitzway has a separate um, distribution deal. They do everything on their own, and it's basically you got to buy Check it through them. I don't, I don't know. And see if they have it because they sell Blitzway, Blitzway there. I mean, Underground Figures is. Close to me, I bought. Yeah, stuff I, I like before. them. They're really good. It's just that I have points with sideshow, so I'm kind of invested. I, I bought a couple of figures. In fact, my crow figure I bought from uh, Underground Figures. Yeah, it's I not. A, it's not an Underground. They don't have it. Not okay. even up for pre-order. Oh, well, guys! Um, oh Iron, Man, Neon, Iron Man Neon Tech. Uh, Mark IV finally got hit up on SciShow, and the pre-order number is $405. <laughs> I'm glad I don't need to buy that. <laughs> you, Nate's buying it. you know Nate's buying it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I know. It's free shipping. Oh, wow, Big Big Bad Toy Store has it too. Wow, SciShow yeah, has not picked like this up yet. Wow, buying they don't from have Big Bad yet. Toy Store, they've always... They've always treated me right with my orders, but they, they they take forever to ship stuff out, even stuff they have there when you buy it. It's like they're too busy getting coffee or something. But I mean, the time that I had to call, you know hit them up because of a problem, they were real quick and helped me out real real easy. In fact, just a story about the uh, the NECA Alien Queen, and it was defective, and they just gave it to me for free instead of me having to send it back or anything like that. They're like, okay, we'll just give you your money back. And that was a hundred dollar figure. So that was cool, but I don't like how long it takes for them to send stuff out. They're getting, uh, yeah, as far as like Hot Toys are concerned, um, if you're if you're pre-ordering something from you know Big Bad Toy Store, like let's say a Hot Toy that's still on pre-order, until Sideshow gets it, you know, and then they'll distribute. Yeah, you gotta the wait rest. for Sideshow first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the comic book version of Green Goblin. Which it's one? Sick. Uh, oh yeah, yeah I've seen that one. one. Yeah, I think it's Soso -So Toys made that one. That's sick. Yeah, Soso -So Toys did that one, and they also did the uh, the metallic version that you see in, or the Power Rangers version 
And, yeah, I won't uh, buy that. I, I don't like to admit that that's a Spider-Man character at all. It looks horrible. I never liked it. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, guys, I want to let you all know that the um, special editions versions of these figures uh, that, you know, that come with the Razor Crest and Boa Fett Starship holograms, every every uh, every of these pre-orders that had the exclusive versions uh, had those, you know, little accessories that come with the figure, they are waitlisted now. So if you guys are, well, some of these are waitlisted full. I think Mark One and the Boba Fett are waitlisted full. Everybody else, like the the Blue Sword, Mystic Sword for Iron Strange, and the Deadpool Hand Cannon, that is still available for waitlist. So to enter, but these just hit the uh, full waitlist a few days ago. You mean uh, after Sunday when the thing ended? Yeah, when the thing ended. Yeah. Yeah, the I, countdown timer went dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing that we might get it. We might get it uh, back again. Like some some bats come in, you know, some extra stuff. But if you guys were looking to get these, it's um, at right now full wait list. See what the single songwriter saying there. Toledo is Alley like has the Neon Tech Iron Man. Yeah, Neon Tech War Machine new oh, for three hundred. I think they have three left in stock. When I checked, the, oh yeah, um, they also have that and um, Amazon. They've been selling these Neon Techs for cheap as well. Well, Amazon's not selling them. There's a third-party seller selling them on. No, Amazon has actually some of them. What? Yeah. All right, I stand corrected. I back off. I mean, at one point, they actually had a few of the uh, the Whiplash toy fairs from last year. They were going at one point for like two oh nine at the lowest price. Shipped. Wow. Are they still on Sideshow site, though? Yeah. I mean, at one point they also had the Mark IV hologram version um, for two twenty nine shipped. So, cool beans. Yeah. Now Ben Curran, he's asking about the Iron Man getting. He wants one, and that's it. Um, Midas. Yeah, that's going to be a tricky figure, considering he's all gold, and there has been lots of issues with markings and QC issues. Uh, I'm just going to tell you flat out, if I had one to go with, I'd go with the Mark 7. And it's up but there I, on Sideshow's site still, so... Yep, go with the Mark 7. Because the, the, the Midas is the Mark 7, just with a gold gold paint job. Yeah. No, it's been ridiculous, man. Uh, especially, you know, not ridiculous. It, it Mark 47 and the Midas, during that time, came out during that whole mess with... Um, with... Um, uh, with the you know the pandemic slowing things down, I think that was part of the whole QC issues. There's your Mark Seven. What's up? I was showing uh, Ben the Mark Seven. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, show it off. Yep. I mean, it's an insane figure too because you can actually also take that main figure, use accessory parts, and turn it into the pod. Yeah, you know, the pod yeah, scene. Or... The whole pod thing. You get some battle damage stuff you can put on them. So it's a really good piece, though. I mean, this is the one I went with, and the only other one I would probably consider buying if they put it up would be the Mark VI. Um, yeah, I think the Mark VI is going to come out pretty soon. Like, I, if there was no doubt in my mind, Mark VI is looking to get a release or reissued anyway. But I like the clunky Iron Man's. I, I like the ones that are not so organic, just like. Uh, Don was talking about with Voltron. I don't like that organic look from Iron Man's. They they just look more like Marvel Legends at that point, to me. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I, I know a lot of people are t have been talking about that. Um, you know, um, the armor coming out very early. That's a that was a very strange release as well for me because I'm like, God, oh, they they could have just they, I, they could have just held that off just a tad bit, but nah, they just released that immediately so I'm, I'm guessing that there's not there were not many um fears for that either <laughs> and also the fact that we're getting a lot more figures without helmets you know without head sculpts so we're going to be getting a wave of figures and if you look at the figures that we have for um next year's quarter one that are coming out most of those if not all are just non head sculpts for star wars so we're going to get hit with a barrage of freaking releases. If they're doing the same thing they're doing now, imagine uh, the first quarter of, um, of um, you know. <laughs> oh, crap, I forgot. 
Sorry. I, 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 I was I was gonna say, Moz, you have to keep, you have to keep waving the I whole entire time you're up. I couldn't keep up with the ideas on on, on what to keep. I was well, he's folks. Like, he, he's with. no Va- yeah. He, yeah he he's no Vanna White. And uh, we'll see. Enjoy that pose, man. It's pretty standard. It's really easy. It's good museum esque pose. Exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just going through the pictures right now. I'm trying to find King Shark. Uh, that King Shark looks nice. He's fat. Ooh. No, that's what I want, though. I want I the think, King Shark. I, I think I'm, he I'm so- ate Deadshot. That's why <laughs> there's no Will Smith in the movie. But, you know, one of the reasons why they, um, yeah, you know, Deadshot, they, they're looking to bring him back, too. That's a, that's a funny thing. Well, he should have because been in once- this one with James Gunn. That would have been the smart move for Will Smith because he's been kind of tanking theatrically lately. You know, the, the thing is, he because he was working on that one movie where he's facing off his uh, his uh, clone, his younger self clone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, when he was Gemini doing Man. that Gemini Man, he couldn't yeah. uh, break off to do uh, Suicide Squad. That's why they uh, they they brought in Bloodsport. But they will be considering getting Deadshot in for the next one. It but is James Gunn going to be involved in the next one? Because that's what Will Smith needs right now: is some James Gunn loving. It'd be nice, though. I'm not going to lie. But James Gunn would know how to use him properly, is what I'm saying. Exactly. He's not being used properly anymore. I mean, his, his his career started to tank ever since Hancock, in my opinion. I really like Hancock, though. I think it was pretty cool. You really? Uh, Gemini like Man is not him? bad. Gemini Man is not bad. So. The first half was really good. The next half was just all over the place with the story. But the first half, yeah. like, if they just continued that throughout the movie... You know, just a superhero trying to make his way, <laughs> try to try to uh, make his way in life. Yeah. But but he's a drunken idiot. You know. But eventually, you know, he got better. You know, I would have like I would have preferred that a lot longer, and then continue on with the whole story with the uh, the superhuman relationship, whatever. Yeah. Like yep. they could have continued that in a sequel. I like I Am Legend. That was good. I can't remember if that was yep, before yep. or after Hancock. Hey Nate, did you catch we had a super chat? Wait, we did. John so, number one, or were you not watching the chat at all? I, I am going. You can through pop my, it out. I am going through my pictures trying to find King Shark. I'm sorry. You okay, can so. pop it out. That's what I do. But then we already established I have three monitors. So. <laughs> yes, yes. Although two computers, this is a whole separate computer. John, John Lover number one, show the T design. Uh, it's a, Full design tees, y'all were with the full screen. Okay, so let me let's go with uh, Don Prime first. Okay, I don't understand what you just said. Yeah, me neither. Picard Riker, twenty twenty for the next generation. I'm all for yeah, Picard obviously. Riker. I've never liked. Come on, what's wrong with you? You've never liked Will. What? What? what are you one of those people who don't like the chair maneuver? <laughs> It's just the half cocky smile I always got with the Deanna Troy. It was just annoying. Superman, yeah, yeah. It's one of my oldest, oldest. Am I sharing my shirt too? Is that what you're saying? Do you do you have a shirt? What yep. you got? Oh, I don't know. I'm just wearing Halloween shirt, man. <laughs> Same as my. Yeah, I, I just saw that you posted like uh, one of your scream. Uh, pictures. Yeah, yeah. I posted. You can. We may pull them over here. Yeah, yeah. Right? Send me the link because my computer is going all slow right now. Oh. Unless you're talking and... about the behind the scenes video, that's a whole different thing. That's something else I posted. Here's that King Shark, man. I'm waiting for this King Shark release, man. This is what I want in my life. It's a king shark. I just wish they could have done king the same. Rambo before. shark. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, Neo did. That. Yeah, yeah. Will Smith did. Uh, was was um, you know, in talks to play Neo in, um, in the Matrix. Yeah, but he been... turned it down for the Wild Wild West. Ugh, yeah, you yeah. Know. Why does he made he a bad move there, that? but he got to do the soundtrack. Why does he always do that? He did that with Suicide Squad 2 over Gemini. Like, he was supposed to do Suicide Squad 2, just that he ended up with uh, Gemini. But at least he did Suicide Squad over Independence Day 2. Was he not oh. in Independence Day 2? Yeah. 
Wow, that's want. right. Yeah. He was in talks for Independence Day too, but he thought the story was crap. I don't doubt that. I haven't never <laughs> seen it. That's my sideshow ghost faced. Yep, yep. I did a grain on that intentionally. It's just uh No no, I noticed. Uh do you like it? The figure? Yeah. Yeah, the figure is pretty awesome, man. Um, it's hard to shoot, though, uh, believe it or not. it's It comes off very toy-like, so that's why I kind of added the grain. Um, gotcha. For real a lot of my figures, you know, if you go look at the rest of my, my Instagram, a lot of my figures, you know, they can look pretty realistic. But the the clothes that Sideshow used for his, his robe, I guess, just have that doll figure kind of look to it, when you even when you take a shot of it. So, I mean, it oh, looks great um, in person, and it looks great when I did that, but it would it doesn't handle well as just the scrutiny of the camera when I don't add a little bit of something, something to it. You know, it just... Yeah, like you, said, you need to add a, a, almost like contrast to it. Yeah, just just something to get some of that sparkly look out of it. And then I think in even the costume of... In fact, hold on, let me pull it down. Even the costume, when you go trick-or-treating in this thing, I mean... It, it's going to look like this, but I just, it's not my thing, you know, just, uh, in fact, he's still left in the pose I had him in, but, uh, comes with this base, which is a little dusty. I got to dust that, um, for shame. Well, I don't have <laughs> enough room in my cabinet. So he actually holds uh, his pose really well uh, as opposed to Jason. Yeah. Jason was like this all over the place with his arm. <laughs> yeah. At least I can. Get, the only problem is his hand. This hand like to keep popping off because of the way I was trying to get it angled to do that blade clean, um, which is what I was going for there. And I know he usually would hold his rope when he did that, but I couldn't get him to do both. I was just lucky enough to get him to do that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm considering if I can ever get the time ordering the Freddy Krueger as well, but I didn't order him. I did order Michael, and of course, Jason, and the Hot Toys Pennywise, and of course, the Ash Williams that we talked about last week. What's up, Star Killer Base? Oh, uh, What's going and, on? Uh, oh, Jackpot is asking, Jackpot's asking Don, what you thought about the um, Mysterio figure? Uh, I don't have it. Um, I wasn't anticipating getting it, but. Um, if you guys have seen on Facebook or any like the mod posts, like somebody removed the, all the armor and installed LEDs. So all the Ooh. parts now actually light up. Now, if Hot Toys did that with the full armor, then that's all. Not only did they have my curiosity, they have my attention. But they have your mind. It, well, yeah, but I mean, uh, again, if it's not in the Infinity Saga at this point, I ain't grabbing it. So. Yeah, well, I'm 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 gonna feel the pain this month, man. I got three figures probably gonna come up this month that I have to finish paying off. They're only just got deposits down. No, nah, uh, Michael on that, Myers. Though. This should be out in August. I should get my 501st Trooper, which I ordered last show. Uh, I would assume I get that next month, and then the armor apparently is gonna be arriving soon. Yep. And I gotta be ready for all those, man. I'm just like 250, 250, 250. Where am I getting this from? <laughs> That's gonna be me. I mean, oh crap! So far, I, I think we're not gonna get the. Um, that's gonna be just a flex figure right there, the Red Guardian. So you think far, so? The, the Black Widow is not doing so well. The the, the, the numbers wise, it's not movie or so well. figure. Movie movie wise. Usually, when the when the movies don't do well, the figures don't get pushed pushed out. As far as. You know, it's, so where did it's, my it's, Ripley and Power Loader go? Because aliens did all. <laughs> oh, here we go again. You know what? You're here turning it go, into that. You're you're turning it into the new reissue Mark Forty Seven guy. Look, man, if Hot Toys <laughs> hears me, they hear me. You know, they need to do it. They need to. They need to. It's like I better get a new Predator with the Skull movie coming out. As long as that movie's good, though, because I mean, if it, if the Predator looks like the one from the last movie, I'm not interested anyway. So. What's the I didn't like other Predators in the last movie. That looked fugly. Uh, what is the actual size of the... Oh, my God. Who's doing this? God. Uh, I, yeah, I just got that, too. I Yeah, believe me. 
Um, yeah, but the, uh, the Randy Garney looks like it's just going to be a regular flex. Like, it's not going to be an actual figure that's going to come out. Am I getting another comment? Yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm going to mute this. I'm going to mute Com- Combat's giving it on the site report. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to mute that um, uh, messenger. Uh, Anakin Twist is asking, what are the actual size for both Fett's both throne? Will it fit in the D-top? It will, I think... No. What, it, I think it... It won't. It won't. I, I, there's some. I've been hearing. Is it going to have that will... base and then the throne, or is it just the throne? Just the throne. I there's think no it's, base. No, if yeah, it's that just base throne, is the side so Jabba. But if it's got that base underneath it, then no, no. Gonna... Even even the base itself from the dimensions, it's gonna cut it very close. Even mm-hmm. if it could fit in, it's almost to that point where you don't know if you. Because I'll just say this: if you put, if you can fit the base, I mean the throne in a detail, there's no way you can put. Fennec on, um, on the side. You, you want, cannot By the time that figure comes out, I won't have that problem because my Maju case will be here if I haven't filled it up with everything else yet. Well, you're a little late to the party, my friend. Only Shush. about two and a half, three years. <laughs> I know. It, I think it, it looks like it's about the width of two and a half figures, so you should be. Well, the dimensions it. are actually down if you go down. Yeah, but you just saw him standing in front of it, and it's basically two and a half figures wide. No, it's bigger than that. Nah. Surely you joust. Okay, here we go. 34 centimeters long. So how long is that in inches? That's where I can think. How many centimeters an inch? It's like 13.4, 13.5. Well, your detox is 15 inches wide. Well, it's ten cent. Ten centimeters is for a little above four inches, so four four twelve plus another four. So 16. yeah, okay. But you won't be able to get. Uh, and then it's yeah. I mean, it'll be a tight fit. You're you're not oh. gonna have any room. It's it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. But yes, Boba Fett. Yes, 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 Dark Killer. Fennec is gonna be sitting on both his lap. That's how it's gonna happen. That's how uh, yeah, like we said this before, Boba did rework her guts. Double on top. I'm going to measure my detox with. It's right here. Okay, what you got? What you got to show? What you got to show, man? Oh, he's doing some Bob Vila, Tim the Tool Man Taylor stuff. <laughs> yeah, your your detox is about 15 inches wide. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be stretching it. How long's the detox? It's about 15 inches wide, so it won't fit. You're right. You're right. I was wrong. Savages it's, always so gotta be it, right. Wait, wait, it, wait. So it won't fit. Well, it's wait, gonna. How, it, how wide did we get the base at? Where we determined the base was at. The, that's the Jabba base from um, Sideshow. Oh my God. How many centimeters? With 34 centimeters. 34 centimeters. It's 13.38 inches, so it will. Fit. What did I say? It was 13.4. Yeah, I'm close enough. So yeah, you're literally gonna have like Lightly. that much gap size on each yeah. side. I am level. Be... <laughs> <laughs> I had to use the ruler. <laughs> and my tape measure is downstairs, man. God, come on, that uh, that old metric conversion formula just popped in my head. It seems no, to be it's working. Gonna, it's gonna fit. The only problem is it's gonna take up the entire shelf. Of your detox. Is that like, really? That and you're, and like I said, you're literally gonna have this much space on each side of your detox. But you have enough thing. room to put Finnick in there with it if you do it right. You well, yeah, sitting on his lap. Sitting huh? on his lap. Sitting on his lap. That's gonna do it. No, she can sit on the arm. You got an extra inch or so. You can make it work. I'm gonna need everyone be- to go back. The Hash Lab Galactus. It's. It's stalling at 9K backers. Oh, just level with you guys. You can make it work. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, wait, who's back in the the the, uh, the HasLab uh, Galactus? Because Doc needs help. Not I. I'm waiting for the HasLab Rancor. Sorry. That's where my money is. Is that happening? Um, that's, the, that's supposedly the next project that's going to be announced for funding. How um, big would that be, though? Yeah, how big? Because I might be able to use that. That's the thing. I want to see how big that is because even if it's it even if it's small, that you could still do it as a baby rancor. You know. So, 
I'm, I'm thinking they might do something here. like between 25 to 30 inches for the and Rancor. But again, it's Hasbro. So Wait, which, one, which one would you rather get, the Hashlab Rancor or the um, the Sideshow Rancor from uh, the? Wait, it depends. The... It depends on what the actual price is, and it depends on the articulation. Depends on if they have any, like how the joints look. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's two very variables to give you an answer. I mean, mm. right off the bat, though, the the Haslab version would be articulated. So, whereas Sideshow is a statue. If they give us a hash lab brain core the size of of the SciShow, um, the, the actual statue, the one six scale statue, I, I get it. I, I'll get it. Okay, so Doc Smith's uh, Rancor is rumored to be twenty six inches tall. So is that the same size as uh, the SciShow statue, the smaller one, or is that bigger? Well, if it's supposed to be one six scale, it's not big enough. Twenty six inches is not big enough. And, and well, no, I mean compared to the SciShow statue. I don't know. Is a statue one six scale? Because I mean, Doc is saying one six scale sideshow statue. So is it yeah, one the one six scale at the the sideshow statue is one six. So it is in scale with our figures. Then. Yeah, it will be smaller than the six scale statue. All so the hash lab one is going to be smaller than that. Ah, yeah, I probably won't get it then. Damn it! Well, I just said the six scale one would have to be about four feet tall. Nobody listens to me. Damn, I, I'm I'm a little disappointed that I was really looking forward to Hash Lab, but if Hash Lab is a little four it's feet tall, be smaller, be two of these, <laughs> this is one of these. It's, 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 it's still cut off. I can't help you. <laughs> two of these. <laughs> two of these. All right, no. So Broken is saying the original one was only twenty nine inches high. The sideshow one, because that's yeah, yeah the original. Two feet, two inches tall for the Hash Lab Rancor. Oh, it's a baby Rancor? That's six, no. Thank you, Ben. You have, you have a Wrecker fighting it. So. <laughs> Maz, I they haven't, they haven't announced a Wrecker yet. Maz, uh, what? You yeah, know, Ben is like, Maz, I listen to you. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. At least somebody listens to me. <laughs> ben, I'm only here for you. Uh, but yeah, you know, another thing I want to bring up because if they're, oh, they're, oh, oh, like Alvin J is saying the sideshow one is only 16 inches, so that so apparently the Hasbro one is going to be at least 10 inches taller than the the new sideshow oh, one. Sideshow one or baby? Wait, wait, rancor are we talking confused. about the sideshow baby rancor though? That's are what he's talking the... about. Yeah. He says baby rancor there, Alvin. Yeah, there is one up for pre-order right now that's just a smaller version of their Rancor they got. It's only 60 inches. So it's a, so either way, it's just too small for me. Like, I want someone to create a 1-6. Uh, <laughs> I want a 6 I want a Cisco Rancor, but with posable arms, articulated arms, everything. I want something articulated. That will be bigger than a dog. Either, or the size of, or or I want the size of the, um, <laughs> bigger than the dog. What kind of dog? Uh, I wouldn't mind a Hulkbuster sized uh, Rancor. You know, or the, or, uh, well, that would be you know, about 26 inches, man. How tall gonna, is your Hulkbuster? What's up? How tall is your Hulkbuster? 19.8 inches. It'd be taller Version than one. Hulkbuster. The Haslab one would be taller than the Hulkbuster. Yeah, the yeah I mean, I mean be... as, 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 as much as awesome as Hulkbuster is, the 1.0, it's not that tall compared to other stuff. It really isn't. Like, mo like, my uh, my fans toys masterpiece uh, Omega Supreme literally towers would tower over the Hulkbuster and laugh at it. It's that large. So Omega Supreme. Exactly. Don't get me started on Omega Supreme. Omega Two has a rank where it fits that. in the Magic Case. Yeah, it does fit in the Magic Case. I had the yeah. original Omega Supreme for a Christmas present, and it didn't work. <laughs> I took it back, and they couldn't replace it, so I didn't get one. How dare you! How dare you uh, fill, fill this negativity? Negativity? <laughs> that was my life, man. This is what I have to live with. It's gone. <laughs> oh, my God, I heard. Probably one of those valuable freaking figures they ever made. Wait, wait, no, wait, the wait. most valuable figure they ever made, I think, was... Uh, oh, what was it? The OG Megatron? No, it's like... Oh, it's one of... It's Sunstreaker. A, a variant of Sunstreaker. 
The yellow Lamborghini or the red one? The yellow Lamborghini, but it's also, there's a variant, and then it's also depending on what the package is. Um, but yeah, that's like the rarest U.S. Okay, or North American. Okay, the variant type production error, though, Omega Supreme still takes the cake then. Because a lot of those were returned because they didn't work. There was a big problem with them. Oh, yeah, the, the internal gearing. Yeah, the, inter the, the internal gearing. So... So this is one. This is the this is the Harley I thought they were going to reveal at Summerfest. You know, uh, you know, with King Shark. I'll be right back. Like, I, what I thought that King Shark wasn't going to be the one. I thought it was going to be Mark Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn, which I think this is the Harley Quinn to get. Like, this is going to be freaking. I I want this Harley Quinn with the freaking. If the head rock. sculpt they make is anything like that, then I would want that head sculpt and get the 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 Sugar Daddy or whatever one, and put that head sculpt on it. Wait, you yeah, still you, you you still uh, purchase this one? If I were able to do what I just said, yes, but I'm not oh, able okay. to do that because I'm not going to buy two figures just to do one. You know, you'd be surprised how many people do that. They just buy. Well, actually, I did that for for uh, Darth Maul. So I, I made I went back and got a DX17 just so I could have that extra head sculpt for my DX18. Did you buy? Did I don't you DX18 uh, head sculpt? Did you hmm? uh, resell it? Just to get the head sculpt, or no? I kept them both, man. You, you kept them both. Why would I? I'm. I don't just throw away my toys. <laughs> Literally, some people just buy the figures and just uh, you know, uh, cannibalize them and then sell the parts. No, that's a perfectly good Darth Maul over there. He's on a speeder right back there now, just not with the screaming head sculpt that's on the DX18. Yeah, I do have. To, yeah, I do have the DX17. I love that thing. I love it. He's not on the speeder. And I went with the DX17 over the 16 because it was only ten dollars more. It's like I get the bike, sure. And then and then they uh, Toys Wonderland messed up and they sent me the the exclusive version with the hologram too, even though I didn't pay for that one. And I was like, cool. <laughs> oh I don't know what I'm going to use this. But... Well, you got the hologram. Oh wow, that's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ben is a good, a good question here. Anyone getting the Lego gunship? I'm not getting the Lego gunship. Um, even though it looks great, I, I, I have the original gunship, not the, the, the black version, the black ops version gunship. I got that one. So I don't need to get any Legos and I don't collect Legos. As but, a parent, uh, I, I am, I am traumatized by Legos. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're too, too many times. You My feet have Legos. memories. <laughs> Your feet have that memories. and, uh, they occasionally had Pokemon cards stuck to them. <laughs> My kid would leave those all over the floor, too. And you have any kind of dampness on your feet, like you get out of the shower or something. Or... Yeah. My God. So, uh, Margaret Robbie's probably going to be, uh, or uh, Harley Quinn. One of the, this is one of the figures that's probably going to be She's probably going to be Harley Quinn? What does that even mean? I thought no, no. she was Harley Quinn. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh... <laughs> I'm just grieving you, man. Me just I'm, I'm just messing up here. But, uh, any no, one Margaret... of these jokes could land at any moment. Wait, what? I said any one of these jokes could land at any moment. You just don't know until you spit fire them all. Wow. But no, the Margaret Robbie Harley Quinn. If the Hot Toys decides not to produce this figure, it's gonna be it's gonna break my heart because they 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 went with the two Harley Quinns from her movie, which her movie failed, and we yeah, still get two horrible. of those. We get still two of those figures. Okay, for Duke. Like honestly, they should have just made one figure and two different head sculpts. But they made two different figures with two different looks, two different head sculpts. Right this there, single right songwriter says it right there, man. Right there. I'm sorry to disrupt your head sculpt, Harley Quinn, but that's totally true. <laughs> Once you step on a Lego in the dark, you'll never want to see another Lego again. Uh, Mario Robbie is Harley Quinn confirmed. You heard it here first. <laughs> you know what's funny though? Uh, what I've been hearing. You know what I've been hearing though? Uh, Margaret Robbie might not come back as Harley Quinn. I thought she loved that character. What happened? Yeah, she loved it, but she's not. She's because, because of what happened in the uh, the suicide. What happened in the uh, Snyderverse cut? The where where she's dead. Oh. She actually took. I think she might have took some offense to that. Well, she did. I missed that. I think by that point, I might have fallen asleep at the end of the movie. I don't know. In, in the very end. It's ba Bat like Harley Quinn died in Batman's arms. Oh yeah. And, and uh, like Harley Quinn's last words to Batman were to make Joker pay. 
And then, and then Joker goes, you know, I'm going to keep my promise I think to kill I you slow. Think about then, uh, because I don't remember that part at all. I remember the Joker oh, yeah. the jacket thing, and how soon was it before that? It was before, like, when he pulled the car? It was before that. So if you saw him pull the car out, you heard it. You might just not have recognized it, but, oh, absolutely Maybe it was something. Maybe slow motion, and everything, everything else had been in slow motion, so I just kind of slow motioned it out. I'm yeah, that 10 second it. button skip button was helpful, absolutely. Oh my god, Alvin's like spoiler alert. Bro, if 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 you have not seen the Snyder Cut, it's free to watch, man, if you have HBO in any capacity. If, Sorry, if, if anyone's you. watching this and we're talking about DC figures, DC characters at this point that we have not seen the movie for just yet, anything that has come out before that. It's free game. I'm sorry. Okay, Doc Smizzle, Doc Smizzle. Batman was talking about Harley Quinn dying. Joker was talking about Lois dying. They were essentially trying to play off the two deaths they caused. But yes, Batman, Harley Quinn died in his arms. And then Joker was definitely referencing the fact that Batman had, if Batman sacrificed himself, Lois potentially could be alive. So, yeah, they're both talking about the same things, but absolutely, something Joker did caused Harley's death. And Harley wanted payback, and Batman guaranteed it before she died. And I don't know why she's butthurt about that, though. That's an alternate future kind of thing that may or may not happen, right? I mean, I don't know. Oh, my God, the Colonel Rick Flag. I would love this one. I would love a figure like this. I saw somebody doing a custom head sculpt for him just earlier today, I think, on Facebook. But they wanted yeah, him for the uh, what's that show he's doing? Uh, I think it's a Netflix um, show. It, it was a Netflix show. I think it canceled after the after the second season. But the first season was really good. Um, yeah, uh, I forget the name of it. It was Alter uh, Carbine. Is that it? Alter Carbine. There you go. There you go. Alter Carbine. Yeah. That was a good show, man. I dug that. It was. It was. I liked the second season. I know people didn't like it, but I liked it. I thought Did it was they, okay. What's the one where they switched out to Anthony Mackie? Was that, it wasn't that one, was it? Yeah, Ultra Carbine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mind Ultra Carbine. Uh, well, season two, anyway. I think season two got really, like, what's the world look for? There was too many ways that the heroes were doing. That, that were, like, there was a lot of, like, re, not resets, but it was, like, more like... Um, there was not much of um, a loss. No loss of what I've seen. Not yeah, much yeah, to lose. Did, uh, now, now, let me ask you, have you, did you see Mother? No, I haven't seen that. All right. It, it, Mother almost feels like it could take place in that universe, and, you know? I saw I Am Mother. That was really good. Is it the one with the robot? Yeah. From, yeah, um, like, look, I think it's Mother, I Am Mother. It's the one with the the robot that was done it's by Wedding Workshop. Mother, if that's what you're talking about, yeah. Where, where is she, the, I'll just say this, the robot's taking care of the girl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that feels like it could take place, like, 30 years after Alter Carbon um, ended. It's a great movie. Right. If you haven't seen I it, saw the trailers for that. I saw the trailers for that. It wasn't that has, also has Hilary Swank in it. So it should be there still. Yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's a pretty decent sci-fi movie. Yeah, it's really good. I think it's got Hillary Swank in it too, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So that's a good one, man. That's one I'd actually buy on physical media if they had made it available. Yeah, but that robot design is insane because yeah, that yeah. rope—it's actually a suit, not see like some parts of CGI, but the main practicality of it is an actual suit. They have somebody in, including that the like that robot head is actually a helmet. So, the best doctor. Well, I guess Michael Roker is the best doctor. Savant. Well, well, uh, Michael Roker. Like we have the head sculpt ready for you know Yondu. I wouldn't. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if they try and attempt to get a savant character from the Suicide Squad as well. But I don't. Th the thing is, I, I I can see them putting out some Suicide Squad figures. But I don't see them all coming out. How many of the Suicide Squad figures did they put out for um, the original one? And which three? ones did? Yeah, it was only three. 
that came out. Uh, or I'm trying to say, so they, did, they did a couple... Well, are you talking characters or total figures? Because they did two... All right, so they did, what, two or three versions of Harley, two or three versions of Joker, right? Way too many versions of Joker. Then they did Deadshot. Yep, they did Deadshot. They I don't did know Harley Quinn. Name. Yeah, it was only those three. Yeah, they made a whole bunch of Joker. Okay, oh, they also made a Batman. They made a Suicide Squad Batman. Yeah, that sold out in 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Elvin J. I was just going to think that. Now, not only is Yondu going to be in the What If series with Chadwick Boseman, um, I just thought of something. Obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. He cannot appear and he's dead. But what if Yondu somehow manages to reappear in the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas uh, special? He can be in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Have you not watched Loki? It's not going to be the same one, though. But what I'm saying is, though, what if, what if, for some strange reason, they make figures for the Christmas special? Then they can again. There, there's a couple opportunities for Hot Toys to reissue Yondu. You know, under what if, under the Christmas special. You know, under Loki, so in the multiverse of madness. Yeah, spoilers. Haha. <laughs> I can't wait for. I can't wait for the Loki figures. I can't wait for those two Loki figures. I think we only Are they gonna be Loki two. figures. So I didn't see the tease. They didn't they did. show them. Oh. Outside oh, from they, the tease, they, oh, they weren't at Sideshow Con. There was a tease. I didn't see that. Yeah, it was just a quick tease on you know face uh, like Hot Toys Facebook page. They actually didn't sh to even tease the physical figures. I'd buy a Sylvie. I can't believe you haven't like, seen that yet. I like Sylvie. He hasn't seen what. No, no, you. No, 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 you. I can't believe you haven't seen the uh, tease that he did for uh, Sylvie and um, I haven't Loki. been watching Facebook as much as I should, I guess. It's too depressing. <laughs> too many things I can't buy. Too many things I can't buy. Especially, dude, this is amazing, though. Oh, my God. I love this Mysterio. Did he come with a little Spider-Man like that? That would have cool. been nice. That would have been nice, but... That head sculpt, though, I'm not a fan of. You just doesn't well, look Well, I've been hearing in hand, it's great. In hand, yeah. it's better than the promotional uh, uh, photos. Well, they need to hire another photographer. I'll do it. It's cool. <laughs> $20 is $20, right? <laughs> $20 is $20. I hope they pay them more than $20, but then again. <laughs> hey, you got to break in somehow, my friend. Yeah. I'd, I'd be happy with the free figures, you know. Hot Toys Gator Loki? How would they introduce the Hot Toys Gator Loki? Would who would they introduce that with an accessory? Like if they were gonna do a, a third Loki, which one would it be? Maybe they do an accessory to, pack. Like honestly, it needs to co kid, come with Kid Loki because if you were watching the series, Kid Loki and um, Gator Loki, they did get help. It was one of those blink and you miss it things. But again, young um, Kid Loki and. Gay, uh, Loki Gate or whatever. It was one of those things, again, when they were doing the... It was the projection thing. You could see them coming up, oh, yeah. and then he threw... Yeah. Yep. Yep, threw him at, um, I think, President Very Loki. And then that's what led to him getting his hand bitten off. Yeah. No, that one just jumped up and bit his hand on his own. There, oh, there you go. Richard E. Grant should get the... the yeah, I do agree yeah, we need, that. Yeah, we need that one, too. Yeah, yeah um, that would be... The funny thing is... He probably didn't even realize the amount of love he was going to get. Now he's potentially working on his own spinoff show. Or even a miniseries. That'd be awesome, too. So. And, and, and the thing is, with Richard E. Grant, um, uh, Loki, when he was explaining the story how he escaped, I, got, I, I wouldn't be surprised he escaped uh, that tragic end he had at the end of uh, episode 5. I think he's probably going to come back. Uh, he's probably made. He's going to make his way to come back. Well, it doesn't matter. Again, we're gonna we're rushing on spoilers here, but given what happened in that show, none of that stuff necessarily is sticking. So. Okay, Mike. Mike Hawes is uh, saying Marvel showed a bunch of the Legends What If figures. They look great. Which of those will Hot Toys do? Captain Britain, Carter, and coming with a Excalibur sword. Oh, Zombie um, Cap. Zombie Cap for sure, because again, they've all, at this point, Zombie Deadpool is coming. 
Zombie Iron Man is already coming. So logically, Zombie Cap. Because that's one of the big things you had um, said. So again, I'll say it before. I think a reissue of Ch uh, Black Panther. Uh, well, Star-Lord Black Panther is coming. Um, Yondu, again, is a big potential for upcoming. Now, I also potentially could see Hot Toys doing Killamonger in his tactical suit. Because in the what-if... Killamonger actually is in Afghanistan and saves Stark before, you know, his missile explodes. So, I at one point it's assumed, again, in the trailer, that Killamonger and Stark work together. And again, Stark's not injured. He hasn't learned his lesson. And he's basically going to be giving a weapons company to, to Killamonger to use. So, that that's my take on it. So, anybody yeah, buy the Mondo last week? What's up? The Mondo Wolverine. Anybody order that last week? Besides the yeah, who, the CCC? yeah, people were talking about it. Did anyone order it? Because I didn't. I I I was like, uh, I got other things that I work on. I didn't. Um, it was one of those things too. By the uh, time I even looked at the link, I think it was sold out. Yeah, it was already sold out. Wow. I think so. No, not yeah. even the Berserker sold out too immediately like i was asleep if i was awake at that time oh i believe me i i was up i i i was on the page i had the ability to add it to my cart if i had known it was gonna be like this i would have been like by now pay, get paid later dude guts come on man you people were already talking about how the other got sold out of, uh, and people were like we need the other one and then the other one came out the exclusive version you know people were wanting that figure so bad but at the same time, I had no idea what it was, and it's like, I don't know, I don't need it, so I'll let someone else get okay, it. Okay, so as... we might, oh, see, that's a cool Ultron. You see the Ultron right there? That's Ultron. That's knight, um, oh, yeah, like a knight in shining yeah, armor. That's that's like a knight Ultron there, and then... But does, got... is that a version of Thanos' um, like his double-edged sword, or whatever yeah, he uses? Sword, but who's holding it? Is that Gamora? Gamora? It's Gamora as Thanos. So Gamora takes uh, Thanos' throne. Remember, she remembers she always said that she didn't want, she never wanted a throne, and Thanos was was grooming her to be the next uh, Thanos. So what if uh, Gamora ended up deciding to become Thanos? So it's a what if, and then uh, Bard, Bardman, um, Hawkeye as the um, as a zombie Hawkeye, zombie Captain America right there. I wonder if they're making a Winter Soldier kills the Marvel Universe in that sense. That'd be hilarious if he if he does if uh, if they make if they make instead they of make, Deadpool. Yeah, instead of Deadpool, it's uh, Winter Soldier kills the Marvel Universe with all these zombie because it, it, from the trailers it looked like um, Winter Soldier was the one that was you know not affected. I don't know why. Or, or this, because he's in the same uniform at the end that he was in, in Infinity War. What if the snap turned every like half the people into zombies? Instead of dusting them, half people survived, the other half got turned into zombies. Hmm. Let's see. Watcher. Um, so the watcher. Watcher, yeah, I don't think we're going to get the Watcher, but this is the look that you were talking about. Uh, this yep. is the moment they can actually bring us the tactical Killmonger and the Tony Stark, uh, the Jericho moment. That I would love that figure. Like, if they were already doing the Stark, you know, race suit figure already, they could do this for Tony Stark. If they want more Iron Man money, they gotta give us different looks for Tony Stark. Yeah. Is it better to be feared, or is it better to be respected? Can't it be both? <laughs> so... Yeah. But the thing is, if Hot Toys are becoming sort of like the next, you know, Marvel Legends or Black Series, where they're coming out with all these different figures, you know, they 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 it, the pool is open. They they just got to dip in it. Exactly. And they keep up with production that Marvel Legends has. I mean, that's that's crazy. Yeah, but also Marvel Legends, even with their price increases, tw they're only ten percent of a typical Hot Toy. So. Yeah. Okoya? No, this is mom. Yes, the, the stepmother. Your mom, Chalice. Okay. And Queen Wakanda, yes. 
and then Thor versus Ultrons. And Madripoor. Okay, yes, those are the Ultron bots. Yeah. So we might see a resurgence of the Ultron bots. A lot of people were con- was, was you know complaining that we never got the Ultron bots. I liked well, Ultron. Well, well, I'll just say, here's the thing. Ultron's not technically dead in the MCU either. So let's just put that out there. Again, remember Spider-Man Far From Home when he was in the um, the locker and he picked up the sentry head and, it, and its light slid up? That's an Easter egg, but Ultron ain't dead. So he'll be back. Oh, uh, Gilbert, uh, yes. Uh, RIP. Like, if many people didn't know that the um, the creator of Berserker, or Berserk, um, did die, I think, this year, earlier this year. So that's oh. the reason why you've been seeing a lot of these figures being uh, bought up by scalpers or, you know, you know, reselling on eBay for um, hundreds of dollars. It's because the creator died, so. A lot, a lot of the mangas are actually, you know, being sought after too. I mean, that reminds me of Single Song Water. Uh, here's something we can touch on: He Man Masters Universe or whatever Master Universe Revelations. Anybody catch that yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, abort, abort. Uh, the, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, Ghost Rider, oh. negative, negative. The the, the oh, tower wow, is full. Oz, you you enjoyed it. Wow. I enjoyed it because I don't think the whole thing's gonna be. Spoilers, guys. No. I don't think the whole thing is going to be Tila. I don't think it's going to play out like that. This is part one. I, you know, I agree. I agree with that. I agree. And everybody's that. already all over. Oh, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. I, I, I kind of agree with what you're saying, but also at the same time. And again, I'll just say this: Kevin Smith's daughter is playing Keith, Tila, the voice. No. no. Tila is played she, by Sarah Michelle Gellar. Buffy. Yeah. Oh wait, I, okay, I got them mixed up. But but it, but I still, I don't. I do. I'll just say this: the way it was set up, it is now um, sellout Bob instead of silent Bob, because mm-hmm. I'll just because again there was a site um, called Clownfish. They broke the news like eight months ago that you know it was basically going to be the Tila show. And then Kevin Smith has basically been going in an eight-month personal vendetta against this website. And literally when it came out that everything they were saying was true, now not only is he attacking the website, he's once again going like Ruin Johnson, he's attacking the fans. Well, I'll just say again, that. this is just part one. You know, uh, I, I have a feeling that he's not going to treat... I don't think any of the, the things that have happened are going to last... When I say anything's that happened, I'm going to refer to the other uh, losses we sustained during that show. Try not to spoil too much. Yeah, no, I do. Agree. I'll just say there was a reason. There was a reason they released the toys, especially the first wave that included He-Man and Skeletor, two months before the show aired. There was a specific reason why they did that. I'll just say that. Well, yeah, the no, show I... is called Masters of the Universe Revelations, not or Revelations. Excuse me, not even Revelations. Revelation, not He-Man. <laughs> No, but we, I we all subconsciously. I'll, I'll just. I'll, I mean, I'll also say this too. You know, okay, like the punning stuff. That was one of He Man's things. You know, he did the puns or whatever. They make fun of He Man for doing the puns. Then they do the same damn thing. So He Man is in every episode. But yeah. Um, well, well, when he's well, dead, I don't know if that's. Hey, well, spoiler. No, but anyway, look, I do agree with Moz. That uh, it's not over yet. Season two can still change it around. Uh, I didn't. I did not personally. I did not like it because I don't like the writing. They could have done better with the writing. The animation was good. Just, I did not like the writing. The writing could have been better. I think it felt very sort of like uh, season two of Last Airbender, where the writing was not there. But the I feel like the heart isn't there. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with season two. They might win me over. But other than that, I'm not getting into uh, uh, Master Universe in this discussion because uh, it, it just brings up a lot of freaking... I thought we were geeking out. I we were geeking, geeking out, out, but the thing is, a lot of people are going to be clashing over uh, Master Universe Revelation. Hell, like, um, like uh, it was like four times dislikes on, on the interview with uh, Kevin Smith about 
Master Universe Revelation, literally four times the amount of dislikes to to like rating. Well, other, other people don't understand Kevin Smith the way I do. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring it I'm not gonna continue that conversation about um, about the He Man that's ended there. But that's pretty much my thoughts. Well, I, I did not I did not like it. You made me I, sad, more sad than He Man did. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, continue. And we're not gonna continue that conversation because it brings up too many freaking con- execute conflicts. order sixty six. That's what we need. We need that hot toy. We need that hot toy of. Um, okay, of- fine. Don't execute. It's cool. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, you know, I wouldn't mind a uh, the Iron Man over here. It's kind of like the Iron Monger look to it. That's a figure they could come out with. Yeah, they did they ever come out with an Iron Monger. Hot Toys, it is. Now, if they did this uh, version of the Iron Man or the Iron Tank or whatever they're going to call it, it's going to be like the Hulkbuster 2.0. It's going to be rotocast plastic just due to the sheer size of it. It's going to be more of a power pose than an actual figure if they do it. Hmm. But at the same time, how many people are actually going to display, you know, Kit Peggy Carter? Captain Britain on the back of that. You're going to display that in front of her. You know, so. Okay, Hydra Stomper, it's it's called. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool name. I like that. The Hydra Stomper. The Hydra Stomper. So what you're saying is I should sell my Merman 1-6 scale new in box. I won from Sideshow Giveaway for $130. Or you can send it to me. I won't just like <laughs> it. Because I won't buy it. I, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> oh. That is true. That's another, that's another freaking... Uh, 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 here, Nathan Henderson. Uh, before the Star Wars could even end, Master of the Universe Wars began. <laughs> that's the thing, though. That's the reason why I, want, I don't want to continue the conversation with this, unless we do a stream up to, a, a stream just for Master of the Universe. Uh, can, I, I, can I just... I'll just say this. For the issues of Masters of the Universe, whether you like it or not, at least it's within the realm of that universe. That At least it's within the realm of that pre-established canon in history. Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe? As, ba- as many issues I have with Masters of the Universe, from what I've seen of it, it's a masterpiece compared to Snake Eyes. I'll just that put is that. True. That is true. I'm not going to lie. I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch Master of Universe. Revelation. Like, Snake Eyes is a complete hit job on Eyes. everything you grew up on. I wonder if they're going to bring in He Man's sister. I, I I don't know. Did they bring. I can't remember if. She Ra- if they're going to. Is, is Tila going to be the new Shira though? No, Tila and Shira are two different people. But what is? I know, yeah. But what if they're going to bring though? What if what if they retcon something? Or they're going to merge them? Yeah. The two shows into one. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. That it's not a true sequel, though. That's what they're saying. It's not. I mean, it almost sequel. seems. And again, I've heard this before. And I mean, this isn't necessarily to to smash anyone, but it almost seems like it's fan fiction like w- w- that's what they think should have happened afterwards not necessarily wrong it's just and again it's a lot of contextual history that you grew up on that's basically being sh- and it might not be the proper turn basically torn up and thrown away Wait, now, quick question are the what if stories are they merged together of, uh, for a continuous story or is just different sort of different stories for were I have no idea. Multiverse stuff going on. Well, well, yeah, it might be multiverse, but is like is each story its own contained element, or does each story build to a larger arc that the eventually the last like what if show for the season or the series will eventually uh, you know confront? Wow, uh, Star Killer! Yeah. I believe they've made a He Man and or Skeletor already. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, when Snake Eyes isn't safe, no one is safe. Different stories in the comics. Who knows for TV version? Oh, okay. Uh, Nathan my, another... I know this. This is why I didn't hate it, but continue. We're not supposed another... to talk about it. It's like Fight Club right now. 
Well, it is, it is Fight Club because it, it, it's going to bring up uh, just uh, like Fight Club uh, fans fighting each other over the story. I know a lot of people did not like um, the He Man story. Oh my god, I'm going to call you when you're streaming. Lane, what's no, up, no, brother? No, no. But first, but first, we got the other super chat from Nathan Henderson. Yep, when oh. Snake Eyes isn't safe, no one is safe. <laughs> Yo, they ruined Snake Eyes, I'm not going to lie, because they combined two different story arcs from two different characters. And I'm like, that's not how the story works for these characters. I'm like, damn. It was and and it's like the same thing, not just one. If you're going to include certain characters, you can't not include, like, you can't exclude other ones that are essential to the base foundation, whether on one side or another. It's like... Did you not read the comics? Watch the TV show. I mean, the other two, like um, Rise of Cobra and the other one, whatever, um, the sequel, or the first one. Yeah, Retaliation and Rise of Cobra. Those actually, for how many issues they may have, they actually try to stay with an established lore. They might move things around a bit, but they try to stay to its true. This is basically like, yeah, everything you know, we're going to throw it in a blender. What it, I mean, I'll be honest. It almost seems like someone it put stuff into an AI computer and had the computer write the script. So, isn't that a movie? Maybe I, I movie. don't know. I think that's, I think that's a movie. I, I, I forgot which movie. I think it's a new Space Jam uh, movie. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, so Lane Kramer with another super chat. Well, my DC collecting is set. Just got the GND Catwoman statue pre-ordered, and we'll be getting the Huntress SS Premium format. Oh yeah, the Huntress. Oh yeah, I'll just can I'll just say this. Um, Lane, he actually um, on Facebook, he actually you know con you know just uh, did me a message. He's like, yeah, I just did something stupid, (laughs) and I'm like, what'd you do? And he's like, yeah, I ordered the Catwoman statue. I'm like, you're a braver man than I am, because. That Huntress statue was beautiful, though. Oh yeah, it was. I was actually impressed with that one. That was that was. Is it up you for Peter right now, Sideshow? The the Huntress one? Yeah. I don't know if she's up for pre order yet. He, he does I, I think he I think he just uh said he did pre order. I wonder if it's on it Oh yeah, no no no. He he pre ordered it. He like he pre ordered it yesterday. He's like just oh. you know, he told me and I'm like Congratulations. Um I mean again, I don't collect DC and I don't collect statues, but that's a hell of a piece. So congrats, man. Yeah, she's not up yet. I didn't think Huntress was up yet. But she looked great. I think she's up, like, you can RSVP her. I think that's yeah, it. That means nothing. I've RSVP'd, you know, Ripley and Power Loader. She's never... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Here we go Why again. you keep bringing that up, man? Like, like, okay. Okay. One day Hot Toys would hear me and be like, you know, we should make Maz that figure, so he'd shut the hell Ma- up. Maz is the new release Cyborg reissue Mark 47 guy. Mm-hmm. No, I don't want either of those. they never going to release that freaking Power Loader, man. Too much money. Too much money for that. Mm. It's, it's ridiculous, though, because it looks nice. Not going to lie. Really? I could buy the old one and just, if they would update a Ripley for aliens and not just alien. I'd be good with that. Would you, how would you, let me ask you a question. Would you do Alien 3? Or no. especially if they gave you the Utani Mercs in the ape suit armor? No. I just want the dog alien. That's what they call the toy. I'm sorry. I know we've had this discussion. It's a bull. The the I true Fishner that. cut is a bull. I it's a bull that, alien. But would they call it the dog alien when you go look it up on? No, Hot actually, Toy. technically, it's called the runner. The Hot Toy. The runner is alien. The dog alien on the box. It says dog alien. Well, I'm sorry. It's not the first time that Hot Toys has been wrong. No. Nope. Like when they mislabeled the uh, the war machine and they kept putting the wrong rank on the chest panel. Look at her, so, man. That's gorgeous. I hate you. I hate you both. What, you gonna get that? No, nah, I don't hate this. Oh my god, that looks amazing though. Yeah, keep scrolling, man. You know, I, I seriously, I it, the face on that and the 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 way they did the picture. If this is one of the most lifelike pictures I've actually ever seen from Sideshow. And then, yeah, this is a Sideshow statue too. It's crazy. Like, and this is in-house Sideshow photography, yeah. and it's beautiful. The, and whoever did too. this should be given an immediate raise. Like, this is beautiful. Side life for me. The side life for me. 
Why don't you just keep scrolling there, buddy? Why are you stuck right here on the genitalia? That's hey, hey, hey. My, my computer does it. My, my computer's having issues, bro. <laughs> yes, most is stuck. My mouse is stuck. <laughs> my mouse is stuck at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, seriously, um, not being that creepy guy. Uh, no, the coloring, whoever did the photography on this. Yeah, it's good. Top notch. Yeah, yeah, I see they've been beautiful. My, my my vape effects. They're they're definitely going after my vaping. Uh, and and the funny thing is too the way the way her shoulders and her arms are draping down, that's really naturally. It looks so natural. Actually, it doesn't look forced. Yeah, which I'm, is I'm really impressive. I am not surprised how many people might get this just because of the um, the artistry. I mean, I, I'm gonna. I have no knowledge of this character other than baseline stuff. But this is a solid, solid piece. This is really well executed. She's like a female Hawkeye, but more vengeful. Oh wow! Someone said zoom in. The, the zoom in actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> and heads. Tit, 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 tit. And heads. And heads. Tit, 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 tit. She does. Look, she does look nice though. <laughs> <laughs> Where did everyone else run into? <laughs> Points for Star Killer. <laughs> oh God! Like the mouse just disappeared. Like Lake Graver. I, I, hey man, this is a great piece. Congratulations! Wow. If, if I, only if I had yeah, Lane, Lane, Lane Kramer's coming in here, dropping his flex money. Like, yeah, we're talking about one He's like, yeah, I just got the JND Catwoman. So. No, he doesn't, he doesn't flex until he says he bought that one-to-one uh, -one scale Heath Ledger bust. That oh one. no, no, no! He's he's gonna go and he's gonna try and get that new uh, Cavell bust, but get the super exclusive mustache add-on kit. Hmm. How much? How much is this gonna be? This RSVP, they didn't say how much it was gonna be yet. Um, I'm gonna say probably like four thirty to four eighty. Four eighty. Nah, man, she's too big. Man, she's gonna be closer to a grand. Is oh, this premium format? Yeah. Um, I don't know. If, I, I don't know how many people know this, but uh, it was Huntress and Batman that took on the Predator in the and it's in the Predator versus Batman series. If guys, uh, didn't but know in that. book in the first ones or the second ones because there was two different ones. The second, the second run, the second um, book. The, the first book, it was him with his um, uh, Predator armor uh, he used against the Predator in the in the first book. In the final fight, it was Predator, the Batman armor versus Predator, and then in the second book, it was Huntress, Batman teaming up against the Predator. Well, did not know that. Yeah, yeah, this so, seems so this our is stock two, just went up. This is like two feet tall, man. This statue. It's two feet tall. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn, that's big. No, if it's two feet tall, it's bigger than it, it's. Can't be a premium it's format. Scale, isn't it? Can't. Wow, the Heath Ledger busts are sold out already. That's that's insane, given how much what? they're doing. They already Damn. sold out. But I, I would go over that. I would go that over the Arthur Fleck any day because I had problems with his hair. Damn. Wow, where where did, where would you go purchase that one uh, at Sideshow as well? Yeah, they had it at Sideshow. They had it at their con. The one, the one to one scale ones. That, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me look. At, let me look, uh, look him up real quick, Joker. Let me see if they still have it because that's crazy. That thing was like four thousand dollars. Yeah, okay, Lane. I, yeah, I yeah, Lane. I remember you telling me about that, so I'm glad you finally came to a choice about that. So, yeah, Lane's local comics uh, shop uh, dropped the ball on him. So, so I'm a little confused on what he wrote. Did they drop the ball on his IG eleven? Yep. Oh. And like he like he he contacted me when it happened and and I'm like, dude, like maybe try to get your money back, put a pre order on Sideshow, the only ones there, and he wasn't sure, so I'm glad he, at least he used the money um that he already put in for something that he'll enjoy. So Yeah, the IG eleven though was awesome, dude. I hope you end up getting it before it's gone. Who yeah. Made the, who made the statue for that one bust? I forget who made it, man. 
It wasn't sideshow. <laughs> it was of course it wasn't sideshow, but they had it on the um they had it on the, the sideshow con. Yeah, well, I, I don't think they just... I don't think they put it up on, on pre order at Sideshow. I guess they were just showing it off. So I don't I can't find it over here. Oh, Infinity Studios. Infinity Studios? Yeah. Um, Thrawn, uh, off topic, uh, let me see. Uh, but would love more Sith from the Mythos line. Sideshow is a hit and miss, but... That still has been... pre-order up on, on a Sideshow site. They still got a pre-order on it? Yeah, I found it. Here you go. I'll put it in there. Right, cool. Let me grab it. Google, man. Don't try to find stuff on Sideshow's site. Their search engine is garbage. Really? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, the Sideshow 1 6 scale figures leave a lot to be desired as far as quality goes, man. No, I, I feel that they need to stop with the 1 6 scale figures and just focus on their statues until they, they, until they, until they do it right with the 6 scale figures to where we want to spend hot toy money. On their Cisco figure, because it's ridiculous that you want to put out these Cisco figures for literally a price of a hot toy. It doesn't work that way. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's still up for yeah, pre-order for hundred fifty dollars a month. Yeah. So that's pretty much a um, a low end car payment. Uh, Lane, I only have the Wolverine. Time for the close up, Mr. DeVille. I have the uh, brown and yellow suit Wolverine, and I replaced like, the body. Do you prefer that one? Do you prefer that one over the past few of uh, Wolverines? Of course. This is my favorite costume, man. My favorite co And the head sculpt was a lot better on this one, too. The, the, granted, you only get the growly face unless you take his mask off, which he's got another head sculpt without his mask. But. Uh, I don't feel the point of having him without his mask on, to be honest with you. So, but I, I do agree the that metal. Ah, oh, the uh, die cast. Yeah, and they don't. But you can't remove them; they're attached to the fists. So, unlike the new one, I think you can actually remove the plate they're on. But uh, yeah, he's he's got an M thirty four body on here. I replaced the body. It's a good Wolverine. It's a good look. I want to know who's getting that extra $5 and the $4,000. $5 is $5. It does look great. I think it looked great. Um, it looks um, so realistic. They did such a better job with that hair as opposed to the Arthur Fleck one. Yeah. The Arthur Fleck's hair, I think, is what really brings that down that figure. Otherwise, you look great, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lane was asking about, uh, w did we discuss any of the DC figures from Hot Toys that might be popping up tomorrow? So far, we, what we discussed so far... Um, we're popping we're thinking, up tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Not, not tomorrow. Not my bad. Not tomorrow. August August uh, Summerfest. My bad. Uh, August Summerfest. Because August Summerfest was pretty much put out there as DC month. I think we're going to get a, a DX11 2.0 or whatever. I think we're going to get that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the DX Joker. I think we're going to get that. And, I, and then Yo. I will order my first DC figure then because I want that one. I can well, use them in no. so many pictures, you know? Wait, wait. It's going to be a it's gonna be a DX, right? I don't think they're going to put I think out DX20. DX. I think it's going to be yeah. DX20. Not DX20. No, DX22. So DX22. Yeah, because Ahsoka... And Ahsoka uh, with right. the Burger 2021. 20, That's right. You're right. You're right. I know I am. But wait a minute. But, he, but here's <laughs> the thing, though. About the DX. But here's the thing, though. Hot Toys only puts out like three DXs uh, per year. You know, if as that. far as pre orders. Because you got to remember, too, our last DX until DX 18 was the DX 16 and 17, which were both Maul from Phantom Menace. And those were a couple years old before that. So they were already out for like two years before DX 18 came out. So, so, uh, so let me see. So this year we saw the two DXs with the Ahsoka for different looks, but they were different accessories, pretty much. And last year and we got then, the one. 
yeah, and then the DX Batman, right? Yeah. And then we got those. That would mean a, a fourth. So fourth one will be coming out in a way. The DX twenty two. So I could I could see them either putting out the DX twenty two for pre order during August, or they reveal it during August Summerfest. Hopefully they put it up for pre order because I'm tired of these reveals that may or may not ever happen. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm looking at you, Cobb Vance. You better happen, buddy, with a head skull. That that Cobb Vance needs to come out with a head skull. And Fennec <sighs> Shan. I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll happen, though, because they got the Boba Fett throne scene all played up there. But, uh... uh at the, at Joe P., I, I'm kind of underwhelmed with the armor because I would have preferred her, you know, with better accessories. Like, at least the freaking... I, like I would have loved it if they threw in, you know, the actual smithing, the actual um, forge, you know, the Mandalorian forge behind her. You know, like kind of like what they did with the uh, hologram base or hologram accessory for um, Kenobi or one Revenge of the Sith. I want, I wanted something just like that, just for the um, the armor, but it never happened. Just print one out, man. I, I th- I'll talk to you about that. Well, you can talk to me later. I gotta fix that damn thing again. It's broken again. Oh, would you break it again? The screen cracked, dude. Dude, this is the second time you've cracked it, right? Or no, the no, second the first time... time the screen just burnt out for whatever damn reason. Now it's cracked. It what cracked you doing, it. boy? What you what you doing? I was trying to level it, and it cracked. You were trying to level it? Yeah, it's got an auto level feature, and it pressed too hard down on it or something. So operator error? No. I hit the freaking home button, which puts it to zero, and it cracked it. So before you t- touched it, it wasn't cracked. After you touched it, it was cracked. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I don't, don't think get me started on that thing. I'm just busting chops, brother. I'm well, about to throw it out the window. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to say, though, um, including the maybe the 3.0 Joker, uh, I would like to see the Mister Freeze. Uh, from Arkham, uh, not Arkham, but the um, from the video game, one of the video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot which one, what it was, but I really like that look with Mister Freeze. Like, why would you put out the XC suit as a reveal? If well, Mister Freeze looks like out... that statue they froze, as far as the look of him. Uh, I think that was that more. Uh, that almost looked more cartoonish. Yeah, it looked more like the animated show. Yeah, Which, the animated I version. Probably looked like the video game. Sorry, and then um, <laughs> it was a, I was I think it was the Mister Freeze we talked about. Then they're gonna come out with a whole bunch of Suicide Squads, or at least there were two more Suicide Squads. Cause I don't see them doing more than three. Like it'll be Bloodsport, King Shark, on Harley Quinn. A fourth one will be a cool Rick Flag if they want to throw us a Rick Flag. Mm, they're doing. Or they're, I, I say Peaceman. Yeah. Again, yeah, Cena has side projects now attached. He the, like there are gonna be a spinoff. Peacemaker Suicide Squad. I think it, like either show or a movie for himself. So again, last I, I heard and read was that Cena is doing a separate deal with DC now. So, but uh, to answer your guys' questions about the armor, I'll make her look good. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so we might be getting a different Doctor Strange look over here. I don't know if he's I, he's connected to Carter though. That's another thing about that. But I th- after the what if? Yeah, but uh, like I think one of them actually might be um, if St- one of the episodes might be if Strange was actually Strange is actually under the influence or um, either under Dormammu or he actually has the dark power that that the um, Source of Supreme before him had. So ah. Yeah, so th- there's the potential for weird things, and then there's also rumors that. Dormammu and um, what what was the name of the smoke monster? Elagoth. Elias. They might be re- yeah, Iliath. They might be related as well. So. I uh, know I could de- I could definitely see a reissue of Yondu, like that'd be freaking awesome. Yeah, I could see a lot of people wanting to hop on this damn figure with. I uh, could could they do a a two pack with uh, Chadwick Boseman and Yondu? <laughs> I think it's possibly, but maybe. 
But but I think they'd make more. I think potentially they'd make more money selling them off as singles because again, it's different people want these two figures for different reasons. I don't expect we're going to get a lot of what if characters. To be honest with you, from Hot Toys, they don't well, like the animated anything. But the thing is, they can also they can do this and continue their concept line because this is all concept by the very definition of it being what if. You know, so. Hmm. Ah, that Star Lord does look nice, though, as uh, Bossman. Then um, here, here is um, Gamora Thanos. Yeah. And then Thor's over the, here. When does the show air again? August. Okay. Okay, Who's Loki's that? over here with the oh. Asgardians. Uh, not Asgardians, but the um, Asgard uh, warriors. Hmm. So I, I don't see us doing... I don't, the only thing we might see another Loki is if they want to bring us the Loki from the uh, first film. The uh, the first Thor film where he has that... Um, yeah, he had a different look in uh, the end of Thor. Mm -hmm. I think that's Nick Fury right there, too. Hey, who is this? Is that Kate Bishop? No, no, no. This is, um... I, uh, this is... I didn't know Hawkeye had, a uh, Had, uh, his hair looks different over here. That's not Hawkeye. Kate Bishop's Hawkeye. No, that's not. I think that is. I think that might be Thor. No, Vince, we get a peek at Hawkeye. That's not Thor. Oh, okay. My, I'm reading it wrong then. Then here comes Loki again. I, I don't think they're going to make another Loki. And then, oh my god, Iron Man uh, has zombie Iron Man. <laughs> That's that's gonna scare uh, scare us a bit. It'd be but great if we get to see Marvel zombies in the MCU, though. But it'll have to come after we introduce Fantastic Four, and hopefully we'll do Ultimate Fantastic Four. Wait, is that the Mark Fifty? Oh my God, is that's the Mark Fifty, isn't it? I that's why I keep saying I think that the snap might have turned people into zombies. No, but there's gold on top. The Mark Fifty is the that's Mark 50 just get... light, dude. That's uh. Are you talking about with the collar? That looks. That does look like the Mark Fifty. That is the Mark Fifty. Okay, so that's just the light. Okay, so yeah, it's a Mark Fifty. Yeah, yeah. Wait, here comes another Mark Fifty, just with the zombie Iron Man <laughs> yeah. head sculpt. They got to do something with that stock, dude. I, I not gonna lie, it's, there's another toy for exclusive right there. The it's a zombie Mark Fifty. <laughs> That's gonna be the that's gonna be the Mark Fifty zombie. That's what's gonna happen. Y'all know it's gonna be another Toy Fair exclusive. That's another part. If I get a zombie man, I want the Spider Man zombie so I can reenact the cover of Marvel Zombies number one, which was a throw of Amazing Fantasies number fifteen. We might get it though if they're doing like a, a zombie, a, a zombie uh, Marvel Zombies, but with. Um, uh, Winter Soldier killing off this the MCU. That'd be that. That'd be possible. Howard the Duck. Possibly Howard the Duck. Maybe. I watch Howard the Duck being the one that's controlling the Watchers. There you go. There's the Marvel Zombies. So uh, that would be the Spider Man I'd want. How would the duck? Uh, no, so the snap. How does Zombie Captain America have his shield and helmet? I mean, he was a, he was somehow turned into a zombie, and he had his helmet on, and he had his shield in his hand. He didn't get his shield back until after the snap. Well, that's what he's saying. That if it, if it was after the snap, then how did he get all that look? So that's that's what he was asking. So the, the, so the snap may have not been the catalyst to the zombies. Okay, it must be something else. Nate, you get the link? Yep. That That's the Spider-Man figure I want. With intestines and everything. 
Uh, they're, not, they're not gonna go that far. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Stark's dad is Howard the Duck. What if? <laughs> That's funny. Well, no, the, like one of the rumors, um, one of the big things going around now is Kang, or at least the one Sylvie killed, is a descendant of Tony Stark. And potentially yeah, the, the Kang the Conqueror that they're going to see in Ant-Man is a descendant of you know Rich, um, Reed Richards from Fantastic Four. So. Wait, there's a theory that the Kang... That was killed by Sylvie is a descendant of uh, Tony Stark. Yeah, and uh, the Kang, the Conqueror, why, that's going to be seen. That? In it. What? Why do they say that? Why do they say that? The Tony there's, there's a whole fan, fan theory, and they're you know trying to piece things together, like like the things like the Morbius strip, you know, and potentially everything from like Stark knew uh, about Kang to the uh, fact that because yeah, Stark potentially knew about it that. And he did the time travel, and he essentially discovered the quantum realm, and you know he's the catalyst that just discovered the multiverse, and so that Kang is a descendant of Iron Man in the current six one six MCU, but like Kang the Conqueror, that's going to come in. He's a descendant possibly of Reed Richards of the incoming Fantastic Four from a different Earth, from a different multiverse, so. I just sent you a, a the first appearance of Marvel Zombies. Uh, this is a variant cover, but oh yeah, I'll pull it up. Let's see this. I can't. Oh, there you go. Finally found a damn picture. Okay, cool. I'll show that to you in a minute. Yeah, Ben. Uh, ben Curtin. Yeah, Kang was from the 31st century, but what they're trying to say is that he is the descendant of Tony Stark because, again, in 616. Stark is the first person to discover the, you know, time travel, quantum realm, the multiverse, and how to actually navigate it. So that's what they're saying. Again, is the rumor. But yeah, I don't think that's the case, though. Um, I think uh, they're just to keep it simple. Which one is this one? Fantastic Four, what? That's, that's the first appearance of Marvel Zombies in the comic books here. And uh, this is a variant edition, though. Um, I couldn't find a clean copy of the, the actual cover, but uh, so if anybody is curious and wants to jump in on the comic book market now, this book's going to hop up there, man. Uh, maybe not this cover. I don't know if this is the second print cover. Zoom back in at the barcode, please. Uh, it's too fuzzy. <laughs> That's the second print. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's the second print. So. Now my my question is okay so somebody like I, I I know how the zombies come into play in the DC universe. How do the zombies come into play in the Marvel universe? Read Fantastic Four right there. Go so read it, what, what's up? Go read it. It's an alternate universe. It's part oh. of the multiverse. So it was it was Reed's fault? Sure. Sure. <laughs> It makes it makes sort of makes sense because Reed is the smartest. Um, I have Marvel. those three books, but I haven't actually read those three books. I've only read Marvel Zombies number one, where they don't really establish exactly how it transpires. You just you jump in and there's zombies. So I actually need to pick those up and read them. I have them. I just haven't had a chance to read them. Because uh, in DC, you know, the reason why the zombies came to be is because Dark Side uh, was an idiot. And decides to try and, um, I guess, uh, put it simply, he tried to go the easy route in attaining the anti-life equation. He tried to go the easy route by trying to replicate it. When he did, he replicated it to where it became, it did become the anti-life equation, but the zombie life equation. And it messed up everybody. So, more of the story is, don't take shortcuts, guys. Never take shortcuts. Because that's what Darkseid tried to do. <laughs> he was like, okay, exactly. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this shortcut real quick. But yeah, nope. considering I was busy pulling this up, I didn't hear what you were saying, but yeah, I think that Kang is more of a descendant of, of Reed Richards than Tony Stark. He is. No, no, he is a uh, descendant of Reed Richards. Like Well you said you said Tony Stark earlier. No no we he's no, that's the theory that's happening. Yeah, again, there's there's different versions. Again, this is Earth six one six for MCU. The the theory put out is that this version of Kang is related somehow 
to Stark, a descendant, a thousand years in the future. Whereas the Kang the Conqueror we're going to see in Ant-Man 3, he might be related, to, again, to the one we've known in the comics, to Reed Richards, his descendant, Nathaniel Richards. Hmm. Again, at this point, anything and everything possibly could happen or not at all. So, again, I'm just spitting out the theories. Okay, here's the Loki that we were talking about. Uh, they these both these these both these um, upcoming figures. Yeah, I think this was when was this? Oh, oh, six it. weeks ago. Yeah. Was it? No, no. Uh, June twenty eighth. So it was six weeks ago. Wow. Oh, a month June ago. Well, a month ago. Yeah, yeah, a month ago. Yeah, June twenty eighth. Where? Yeah, we're, wait. What day is it? The twenty seventh. The twenty eighth. Yeah, literally a month ago. Okay, so, so uh, four weeks ago. You know what's funny though about this is that um, usually when they present figures like this, I think it's because they were putting this off because they were showing off a lot more of the Summer Fest and Toy Fair figures. But usually when they show these teases like this, it's all, it's about a week or two before they actually release the actual figure for pre-order. Maybe they're holding this off till September. After New York DC. Comic Con. New York Comic Con. Really? New York Comic Con? Would they wait that long for to release these figures, though? For New York yes. Comic Con? For pre-orders? We're or probably yes. still working on head sculpts, too. You notice her head's kind of blurred out. Well, you got to remember also, New York Comic Con as opposed to San Diego Comic Con. New York Comic Con's always been more TV, whereas San Diego's been more movies. So if they're going to drop TV figures, New York Comic Con is the perfect place to do it. So. Yeah, Zemo looks nice. I really nice, like so. Loki. I like that show a lot. No, Loki was fine. I, I I enjoyed it. I I think episode five was the best episode. Episode six was an eye opener because they're like, ah, damn, don't do it. You gonna can't open a can of worms. You don't even know what's happening. You don't even know what's going to happen, man. Don't do it. Like I loved how the um um the Kang they they were speaking to. I forgot. Let me see. Immortus. There you go. Immortus. Yep. He was explaining how hey, if you kill me now. You're going to open a whole can of worms because I am the yep. good guy here. All yeah, right? and, and the thing is, you even posted the video where his speech about, you know, the threshold, that syncs up perfectly with the Agatha and Wanda fight where she actually is being converted into the full Nexus beam. Being You literally, you put them scene by scene, it matches time-wise, shot for shot, everything. It almost looks like... You know, uh, they had the WandaVision scene playing in the, you know, outside the camera view so he could get the timing and pacing, and he matched it perfectly. It It's too coincidental, time-wise, for it not to be done intentionally. Oh, yeah, I agree. So, Yeah, um, Kevin Feige hasn't admitted to it, not even the director admitted to it. So Kevin Feige, I, knowing Kevin Feige, he always loves doing that kind of stuff. So he would he most likely have done it, had done it, did it that way for a reason. So yeah. So, what's the story on the She Hulk show? When are we getting that? I think it's in pre-production or even production right now. Um, but the thing is, we're getting She Hulk. We're also getting Professor Hulk, and supposedly we're also getting Abomination back after his, you know, bout with Wong and the Ten Rings. So, do they ever cast a She Hulk yet? That oh yeah. Know? Did they did they tell us who it was? Hold on. It, for those who those who are asking about the one six scale president Loki is being made by SL Customs. And it's sold out. Oh yeah, sold out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Hulk, it's Tatiana Maslani. I thought that was not actually finalized. The last I heard that, that wasn't actually going through. According to what I'm seeing, yeah, it was finalized. Because she's on the official cast list with Ruffalo, Tim Roth, and the others. Hmm. Well, I've kept my, my Funko Pop of She-Hulk from uh, ECCC a couple years ago just for prospecting. Not just for prospecting. Boys <laughs> Roth exclusive too, man. You can get that sticker. I still have that one, I think. She's over there somewhere. Oh, there she is. Hold on. I get her. 
We're gonna geek out. Oh my god, <laughs> freaking uh, Funko Pops, bringing that back. That I still got twenty two thousand dollars worth of Funko Pops. I need so. Right there, man. There she. Uh, do I have that one? No, no, I did not pick that one up. No, I Lord said She Hulk, man, right there, buddy. Which is how she's going to be portrayed primarily in the show. Awesome sauce, right? I, I, I love that, man. Oh, my God. I got, a lot of movies I, are you guys going to see my favorite Funko Pop ever? Which one? Favorite one? Check this out. You ready? Yes, yes. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Give me, give me large and charge, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, John Oliver! Oh my God! Burn it! Burn it! <laughs> Burn! This show is awesome, dude. I love this show. I just oh 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 yeah the the the, pomp, the pompous millionaire telling us how we're doing everything wrong. He's not doing that. He's educating people. Yeah, I do, I do like his. I I uh, but I do like that. Um, he loves his uh, Lord of Rings though. All right, I put it back. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> then everybody's been talking about Zemo. Um, do you think they're going to... Um, my bad. Do you think they're going to flex on Zemo? They're going to bring him in? Dude, why are you going to be just like what they were talking about, how you barely got to see Zemo, and then you go, flip, 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 flip. Here's Zemo. Goodbye. This, like we talked about before, this is one of those ones... If Marvel didn't react to all the fans asking for you know a cut or the un deleted scenes of him dancing and then they put out an hour cut of it if they marvel didn't do that i'd say absolutely no this is a flex but the fact that marvel did that and responded so quickly to all the fan interest i don't think marvel anticipated the amount of you know almost like cult status he got so but i i i'm gonna put this 50 50 honestly i could see this going either way because again there are factors for it being made and then there are factors for it not being made well, so, my calls, here you go. We're now not just barely showing it. You can see it now. Here, geeking out. What were you showing? Well, my call says, I want the Zemo that they barely showed. Now you're exactly. showing it. <laughs> Only here on Geeking Out will you get to see it for longer than two seconds. Uh, yep, that's true. If that figure is coming out, uh, Thunderbolts is coming. Mol yeah, they're setting up for either Thunderbolts or um, the Anti Avengers or. Dark Avengers, the, yeah. Dark Avengers. There you go. The Dark Avengers. If they choose the Dark Avengers, then we got um, the the um, uh, Osborn, Norman Osborn, coming in. That's Thunderbolts. No, that that's Dark. That's no, Dark, Dark Avengers. Thunderbolts is set up by Thunderbolt Ross, which um, oh, yeah, Valerie, yeah. you know, right. Julia Louise Dreyfus might be working for. So she might actually be setting up the Thunderbolts right now because technically she already has her Captain America in U.S. Agent. She already has her Black Widow in the new Black Widow. Hey, spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been out for how long? So. Yeah, in the um, theater, when it's free to watch on Disney+, Plus, then you can talk about it. Okay. But, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, either way, I think we're, we're going to see Zemo um, again as Citizen B. I honestly believe that. I don't see him working well with a team. But that's the point, though. He doesn't work well with the team. He's doing it. He's manipulating the team. Ah, rainbows. I like them. Be cool. Yeah, and that manipulation backfires on him later down the line when his own team members turn on him. You know, there was talks that he was going to be the, um, he was going to be uh, Doctor Doom. There was like rumors about the actor. Circling. No, no, no. The no, not the actor, Zemo. Like they were, yeah, they're two they... different characters. I would hate. I don't think Feige would do that. I understand. Well, I mean, I still, I still think the Soko like the um the Sokovian issue still might potentially play out. I mean, you know, again, Sokovia is a fractured nation. He even said in the in the series, like how the other countries are taking parts of it. So it might not be him, but somebody else from Sokovia might rise up, become Doctor Dune. Yeah, you know, reclaim the land, then turn it into Latveria. So, that, I mean, that's still a possibility. Oh, I'm not knocking that at all. I'm just saying he won't be doomed. He might be a protege to doom, though. 
or he might be the one that actually can fund Doom. Because he's already been established, he's rich. So, but if Doom owns part of his his you know mother country, I don't think he would fund him. Why does it look like she's hanging on a wire? Come on now. But you also got to remember, he he also Zemo also said that Sokovia was a failed state long before the Avengers showed up. Hmm. I think that's the update of Hesco. Yeah, I like that one a lot better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my Better. god, this this video got four t four minutes and 20 seconds, and freaking DC only had like 44 seconds. With the 12 second intro. With the 12 second intro. Oh my god, I love this vision though. This vision, give me vision, give me the anti vision. That vision I'm gets right with everything that you got wrong with the other one that they got coming out. Exactly, that's what I, what I find hilarious, man. This he doesn't have the, the over enlarged crotch, and he doesn't have the off red that doesn't look quite right on Vision. I know it's the way that it's supposed to be in WandaVision, but I didn't like it. Ooh, my cause, I like that Doom Wars. Doom Wars will have a version of Doom Wars. It's almost a perfect setup for Handel's uh, Chad's Zep. Huh. Oh, speaking of that, I'm. I'm... Yeah, so uh, Black Panther two is actually going to be end uh, in like two weeks is going to be uh, filming not that far from me. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go try and see. What? They're not filming in Atlanta again. Um. Well, they're doing location scenes next week, and apparently, what I've been, uh, what I've heard is they're going to be doing a car cheat, car chase scene, and there is a police station that was specifically chosen for its architecture because it looks like a shield sword building. Oh, okay. And they'll be potentially doing assaults on that building and it's, you know, it's about an hour from where I am, you know, up in New England area. But uh, that's uh, it's been confirmed. They will be up here. They've already had the pre-prep teams, filming locations, all that stuff, and they start filming in like two weeks. Here's your hated vision, Mom. Yeah, his head, his head just looks way too... That red just looks off. It looks way too uh, saturated, I guess. But isn't that how it looks in the uh, show? Maybe in the show, but in the movies is where I'm going with the way I think he should look. I mean, well, I think that might be intentionally done because, again, that's a manifestation of Wanda's memory versus the actual Scarlet physical being. Witch powers yeah, that, like witch. that's her manifestation of what she realizes Vision to be. Yeah. So. Oh my God! Next. Yes. Yes, yes, we know, we know, we're in the Mark 85, yes. I really don't Mark like 85. the backpack on that either. It looks way too clunky as a toy. It just looks oversized. You know, when those things pop out, they're pretty pretty subtle as far as their sizing to him and everything, but the, the wing things on his back just look way too big. I found this hilarious. Everybody that was watching this video or watching the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Sideshow Con, all was commenting. Hey, there's my, <laughs> there's my <laughs> end game cap right there. Have I uh, have not gotten yet? <laughs> uh, he was released in Hong Kong, right? Yeah, he's, he's been not here seven country. months ago. Like seven months ago. But I've I had mine for I've had mine for what six seven months. So that's crazy. At this point, like people will probably cancel their uh, end game caps for the new bow damage cap that uh, that Hot Toys may pop out in the near future. Yep, exactly. So that came Both out pretty good. Now, I think the axe is the right size. He's not fat enough. Here's the thing: he ain't fat enough. If you're gonna do a fat body Thor, do him the whole fat body. It's almost like they got to a certain point and realized. Yeah, we don't want to spend more money on material or redesigns. Well, when once he gets the outfit on, he doesn't look as fat though. He looks bulky, but not necessarily. Is, that, is this fat. true? Is the axe uh, in hand is bigger than the Infinity War axe? That axe looks uh, appropriate in size. I mean, people are saying it's bigger than the Infinity War one, but it's still too small size wise. I think it's about right. I have to see. Uh, well, part of the thing is you have all the effects on him. You have all the effects on the, the blade that that's, that's, that's filling it out. The effects. I thought it looked fine. But, you know. Eh. So some, some people are saying that it is uh, the right size. so Or bigger than the Infinity War one. 
I I I think I remember uh, looking at a third party, um, third party um, Stormbreaker, and that thing was massive. What the bad tomato? Is it bad tomato? Yeah, the one that also lights up. Yeah, is that the yeah, one? Yeah, it's bad oh, tomato. Yeah, I, that was a really good one. No, Ben, we're not about the hammer. We're talking about the axe. I, th- I think uh, the axe that he's got there looks like it's about the right size to me. Don and I are disagreeing on that. Yes, we can disagree. I mean, I think it's still a little undersized, and you're getting a visual effect from all the, um, you know, the plastic parts you're putting on it to beef it up. I mean, without it, I, me personally, I still think it's a little undersized, but. I uh, wonder what co- what caused the cap end game 2012 version to get delayed. Um, head sculpt. Yeah. <laughs> Head sculpts. They're trying to catch up on their head sculpts. That's what's going on. That's why they're putting out a lot more figures that don't have head sculpts. That's why we're seeing the Coruscant Guards game put out faster. The 501st. Uh, we'll Storm probably Troopers. see the Death... Yeah, Mando Death Watch will probably get released early. Well, he's supposed to be coming out in October anyway, so... Well, I mean... I, I think he's going to come out sooner. I, I Honestly, he might come out Friday. Well, don't I'm really surprised. scared my wallet. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm just if like Death Watch Mando comes off Friday, don't be surprised. This was hilarious though. They they put out the Neon Tech Mark IV um, Iron Man, and it comes with exclusive um, accessories. I'm like, is Sasha picking this up too? Because a lot of people pre orders already without the uh, the other accessories. So, but I'll be people were complaining about it. Like, yo, I already pre ordered about I it this- because I think it looks bad. But that's me. It's, it's Rensler from Tron. I keep saying it, so. I'm not a fan of any of these neon techs, man. Just, yeah. I wonder if they had Terry posies. Like, Terry, can you come in one day, these posies? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Peter? Oh, my God, that Mark 42 is beautiful, though. I so need Peter, that Mark 42 in my life, man. That's the quarter scale, right? Yep. That's the course. Yeah. Oh, Peter Lamb. What's up, fellas? Driving home, listening to this. Great way to end the day. I appreciate you coming in, man. Yeah, the Mark 42 is a beautiful piece, man. I, I'm, I'm glad that Hot Toys decided to reissue it. I, I'm surprised the resale value for this was pretty was up there. Yeah, like, this, like a grand this, just to get into it. Yeah, a grand just to get into it, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I was surprised. Like when I was looking up the resale value for this, I'm like, not a lot of people find this one of their favorite suits. I, I, so, because not many people like the Iron Man three. No, it's looking too much like a Marvel Legends here to me. I like how I just shut everybody down. No, sorry, I was reading something. What happened? Sorry, I was reading some comments. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, see, the That's funny thing, well, like, why did they go with the gantry? With that, I mean, if if anything, they should have gone with the Iron Man 3, you know, the workshop setup. But it's just a reissue, so. I mean, even for the reissue, again, it's like, why didn't they just go with the... The, you know, from the beginning where it has the light up base with the stairs. But again, that's first world problems, just nitpicking. Oh, wow. This is a good one. Would anyone want a quarter scale Hot Toys Captain Rex or Anakin Skywalker to be made? Hmm. I'd like my one six scale to be, uh, you know, released. That's what I'd like. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd like uh, my Rex to be released first before they start thinking about a quarter scale. A quarter scale... A quarter scale Rex. I'm saying, would they do? Was what would they do? Or like out of those two, would they do a quarter scale? I don't. They probably see do Anakin, Anakin before they do. They do Rex. Anakin, and they probably do him in clone armor. Yeah, or something like that. But I don't get into the quarter scale stuff, man. I mean, it's too big. It's just way too big to manage. This is me. No, it's not. No, they're not. Oh my God! Here's the here's the figure that broke the internet because people were pissed off. It was if they they thought this was the real cyborg. Hey man, <laughs> the, people got a cyborg. They need to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that arm looks nice though. Not gonna lie.
And then here comes uh, some of the suits that um, are, are freaking Oh, did you material. see today? They were actually, like, they found stock of this. The advanced suit from the video game. I and found Sideshow listed it. Too, right over here in this case. You want it? <laughs> but no, they literally like they they had found stock. It was either today or yesterday. Somebody posted it. It was sold out in like six there minutes. It. There it is. It's funny because it lasted forever on the site. The the Iron Spider right there. That's one of the best suits they've made uh, from from the PS4 line. Oh, I see. He's got like actual knee joints, so you can bend them. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is one of the best suits, man. This this is the game. This was one of of my list pretty much like the top that's three. my iron spider-man man i don't yeah forget the uh, the avengers infinity war one that was horrible this is this is my iron spider-man civil war that was in the comic for civil war is when you first see that when he joins team iron man he makes him that suit <laughs> jenna patrol is like are you out of your minds uh we need uh <laughs> two to one two scale, one scale general general grievous <laughs> yeah, and, and don't forget the additional living room you'll need him to display, but it, that might be kind of tight. You're going to be running up into the walls. You have to have a high a, ceiling living room, actually. Exactly. A two-to-one Grievous? You have one That's going to be like a... You have like the second story, like catwalk kind of balcony system over there. It just no, goes all the way up. Not yeah. Control. He's out of his damn mind. You're out of your damn mind, man. Who? I mean, at that point, you got to start thinking about man. building a gantry system like the uh, giant um, Gundam that's at the Bandai factory in Tokyo. Like, Hot Toys will never, would never do that. Hot Toys would never. Because <laughs> who's going to buy that? They'll probably flex on it, but they'll never, no one will ever buy that. Yeah, that's insanity. That's but, now, but now that he said that, I want Hot Toys to do it like a giant... Um, a giant statue for their display where it's like he's Hulk size. I want to see that. They could do a Hulk Hulk size. <laughs> but I well, want to see a Hulk size Grievous. The movie theaters, they actually did that for the uh, the original uh, Universal Hulk. All right, let me ask you a question then. Would you rather fight a Hulk size Grievous or a Grievous sized Hulk? I think Hulk would wipe the floor with Grievous. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, that's one of those semantics. You need God. <laughs> law order, law oh, that's not a knee order. joint. That's just armor pieces that makes it look like a knee joint with the leg bent. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like he's just wearing a suit, almost like the Man of Steel suit. And it's just... I, I, let me see. I can't remember if this one has... But he still has that cloth fabric over his knee to, to restrict his bending. Yeah. I wonder if the legs have... Uh, 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 Rackets. I, I, I can't remember. I haven't pulled out my Iron Spider in a minute. I didn't get my binoculars out in time. A little snatch reference. Jet Up Patrol is like, would Hulk, Hulk can regenerate? Would stand a lightsaber blade? You ever read the End Hulk? He's literally the last thing on the planet, other than like these bugs that eat him every night. And then he regenerates and does it again the next day. He's a Wolverine healing factor kind of deal. That's why Hulk versus Wolverine was such a. Well, this isn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't know if the lightsaber can penetrate Hulk though. If oh, it, it probably it, can. Hulk, but what, he just regenerates what, it. Well, here's the thing: if Hulk was, if Hulk was at, at uh, you know, at his angry state, you know, like his most most like World Breaker Hulk. Like Hulk, Hulk. Hulk. Grievous wouldn't be able to touch him, man. Hulk would just hit the ground, and Grievous would fall in a deep ass crevice and just be like, well, <laughs> "Bye." <laughs> or he could even, probably even do like an earthquake type shock wave with an impact on the ground and just shoot him into space that way. This is one of the best Spider Man's, though. This is right here. Posability wise, yeah. Yeah, posability wise, one of the best. It's all about posing, man. I was very disappointed with the lack of posing I could do with my I, PS4. Ooh, you know, I can't suit. believe this figure is still available. I can. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of a niche figure, you know. Just. Hmm. I really like this one though, but it's not really not really selling well. Oh, that material though. I don't like it. Ah, god, that material. Looks very pleasant to me, but this one, yeah. This, uh, even though I love the look, the pleather is gonna kill me, though. 
Ah, uh, uh, I'm I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be honest when I see this. I don't think Spider Man. I think Daft Punk. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. Tron movie again, right? Tron Legacy. No, 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 not even Tron. Daft Punk. Oh, because know. of the way they wear their helmet, their helmet setups. So. I am getting this. This is this is gonna be one of my favorite uh, pieces. So I, I just love the look. It's just so unique. I mean, even the they chest. They're buying like, everything they put out. Why is this a surprise to anybody? <laughs> now, where's the uh, the OG looking Spider Man? Why wasn't that shown? Captain Puerto Rico. Weppa, weppa, weppa. Weppa. Yeah, right here. Right here. This is actually three point because the the Avengers uh, two point is coming out. So this one is will it? be three point okay. Eventually it will. So, Ooh. the only my only my only issue with this figure is that it didn't come with a second um, red wing like it like it did. Uh, like there was two red wings at the time. Red wings. Uh, it, wing Man, wings. Wings. Well, well, wing that wings. um the red wing. Not only can that attach the back of a suit, that is a second uh, stand that actually plugs into the main stand plug. Yeah, they did that. So with you the know, like what before. you with um, the Homecoming Iron Man, they had the uh, all the repulsors that came with it that had its own special stands. It's basically like the same thing. So yeah, Planet Hulk is where it was at Blackbird man. I was so sad to see Thor Ragnarok, knowing the Planet Hulk existed first. I'm not to get me wrong. I love Thor Ragnarok, but every time I watch it, I'm still disappointed that they had to steal that storyline and bastardize it the way they did. Mm -hmm. There's Zemo. Mike and Baron Zemo. Mike, Mike, where are you at? Mike Halls. Baron Zemo, more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do like the Zemo, though. Like, I, I'm hoping that we do get a full head sculpt, though. I want the full head sculpt. Because he didn't. He doesn't wear the freaking mask. Uh, throughout for, like, the, one scene. Show. Yeah. for one scene. He like puts it on to help them, and then he takes it off again. I'm like, why did you put that on? Because the fans demanded it. <laughs> the fans demanded it. Well, Rudy was very exactly. disappointed with him in Civil War. Unlike me, I thought he was an awesome character because I understood where he was going with it. But that's probably the least the least interesting figure out of all this. Yeah, this was a very disappointing. This was. Ah man, why why would you pick this look? Out of all the looks that we had for Bucky in the Winter Soldier show, you had to pick this one. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I would have preferred the purple look. I would have preferred the the um I want I want the look from the club, just the like trans... Zemo, man. We should get yeah, them the all in the club look. outfits. Yeah, the club outfits, yeah. The magic four prefer... club outfits, man. That's what I want. Uh -huh. I would have prefer... hmm. I would have preferred the club outfit Bucky versus the blue Bucky over here. Or they could the, put him in a Luke Skywalker whip. costume. I would have been happy with that too. <laughs> that Mandalorian it. Uh, Luke Skywalker. Oh. There you go. Wow, they ended it with uh, Bucky in this video? Get out of here. Where else are we going, man? What's next <laughs> on our tour? I think that's it, man, because DC, man, yeah. they haven't... I, I wanted to, I wanted to make this just a DC discussion, but... They don't have anything else to talk about. But, but Not for another but was it, August 15th? For whatever I think, August. it's August 15th is going to be DC Day. That's DC Day? The uh, Summerfest? Well, yeah, they're having a specific DC only day. I think it's the 15th, but I I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and someone please check me. But I think it's in the next two to three weeks where it's going to be mm, specific was, to DC property. I was hoping, just like since they were putting up the uh, the cyborg stuff already, from the pictures, let me uh, pull that picture up again. Since they were putting up all those uh, uh, the setup for Cyborg and XC Batsuit, you would think that they would have that uh, ready or set up for the um, for uh, the beginning of August to get to reel in the DC. Or, or again, or maybe it's this weekend. I could be completely wrong, but I do know that the original plan was to have a DC only day for all their property. Hey, Nate, I, I sent you another link so everybody can see what ended up happening with that IG-11 pose I was working on last week. Would it break? It didn't you break, break it. I'm just saying. 
Remember I was working on him, putting him on the speeder? Yeah, I remember that. So there's what I ended up with. If you want to share it. If you don't, that's cool too. It's your site. Yep. Nice. There's the IG-11 Hot Toys on the Scout speeder bike. With a little yeah. bit of... And then, yeah, my little behind-the-scenes videos. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty. But, yeah, um, so that's what he ended up with. It's pretty cool. Um, I, again, had to make sure to strap his foot down, although his knees actually hold him in that place pretty well. Unlike the Scout Trooper, you can't lean the bike so well in the Scout Trooper. You have to strap his foot in. Uh, what I did is I had an elastic band around the outside foot to help him balance on the bike like that for the Scout Trooper. But uh, the IG-11 doesn't need that. His knees actually are tight enough to hold him on the bike. And they have magnets in his feet, right, to that will attach to the... No. There's no magnet. I mean, that's what they should have done for the Scout Trooper because his feet don't actually attach to the base. Um, there's no... I thought IG-11 had magnets. If they do, uh, it's the news to me. I didn't realize I, th it. I think they do. I think you have to, like, they might be in the box, but I think that was part of... No, the Scout the Trooper is... came with magnets. Maybe that's what that was for then. All right, yeah. I, was, I thought they were for the bag. No, their first feet. Oh, well, good. Maybe I'll play with that then. Thanks, guys. But, uh, yeah, that's what I was working on last week when we left uh, that pose. So I wanted to show you guys what, what came of it. He's but, still um, on the pose back there. but He is? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still leaning. Oh, there, there he is. is. See, yep, single songwriter, magnets come in the box. All right, well, shoot, I should have read the instructions instead of glancing at them. <laughs> how all dare I knew you was not, not to pull on anything, you know? I read the instructions on putting the handlebars on, and that was about all I did. Oh, and to put the bag on the back. <laughs> how dare you not read, Moz? How dare you? Hooked on phonics, my friend. I, lost them. I can go back and read. You know, you know what's hilarious, though? Um, I know, I, I know I've, I've been seeing this post quite a bit on or comments on uh, freaking Facebook uh, about the exclusive figures and what accessories come with the exclusive figures. And I'm here and they're, they're asking these questions, right? And I'm here like, um, or they're unaware. They, they're not sure which one to pick up because they're not sure which one comes with the accessories. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, did you guys happen to just pr click on the product that you're trying to buy and then, just read through the page and it'll tell you what the exclusives, which one is the exclusive, which one does it come with? Is the throne is the exclusive? No, it's, <laughs> it's just the holograms that are exclusives. People are actually thinking that the throne is actually the exclusive piece to the uh, actual set. I'm here like, why don't people read anymore? <laughs> well, we brought that up last week when people were complaining about the, uh, what was it, uh, the size of Iron Man. The Mark One, they were like, you know, he's so small, and all they had to do was read his size and know how tall he was instead of looking at the picture, which you said they fixed the picture because the picture yeah, missed they everybody. Fixed it. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, yeah. the actual, I think more people are mad at the actual size, the actual size they have. Oh, right he now. is still small. It, it, it's tall, but it's not as tall as it should have been. He's smaller like than Mark lot, Seven. So. Mark's. Wait, Mark 7, how tall is that one? 12.25. 12.25. No, the no, the Mark 1 is 11.8. Yeah, but the thing is, I what I think they're trying to get away with, the Mark 1 is literally him and it's his real size as he's coming out. He, You know, it's not upsized. He's not wearing risers. He doesn't have repulsors in his boots. It's literally him putting stuff on his body, you know. He's actually, uh, he's over 13 inches tall, the Mark 7. Yeah, but he's on the base, right? I'm measuring from the base. I'm measuring from the base. So 
Same floor. That's not right. That's that's not correct, my friend. Um, hold on, dude. I got the ruler out. Unless the ruler, <laughs> dude. I got arm, the ruler out. The ruler is on top of the base, just like its feet are. Well, I, I mean, uh, no diecast one six Iron Man is thirteen inches is 13 tall. Point... Aside from like his height. Yeah, is... I mean, he's not Igor, brother. Thirteen and eighth. Thirteen and eighth. He comes in right here. It might help if you zoom in there, but uh, right there, that second notch there for thirteen. I think it's the eighth. Maybe it's a quarter. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought about that much. That's as tall as he is. See if I put this. If I put the thing here, and his knees are slightly bent actually, so he's probably a little bit. He's probably even a That's little bit taller. That's Mark Stone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Twelve twelve ninety six. Single star writer says it's twelve ninety six. Well, that might be what it says, but somebody didn't measure it because his knees are actually slightly bent in, just a just a little bit. They're not straight. Are you using a dollar store uh, ruler? Dear Lord, man. All right, hold on. <laughs> Is this a better product measuring? Is that better? Is that gonna be yeah, better? Yeah, product page time. <laughs> now, is that a dollar store tape measure as well? So Stanley, I don't think it's a dollar. Store. Okay. Well, let's do it this way. All right, let me uh, let me look up Iron Man. People are actively product page. <laughs> Hold on, we can see these numbers this time. Ugh. Oh wait, there we go. <laughs> Is it made in China? <laughs> <laughs> if I can hold it oh, straight. Wow. Look yeah, it's that. about twelve point nine eight. Twelve point nine six. But 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 he ain't thir he ain't over thirteen. The top brother. of his head is over the thirteen mark. Let me <laughs> turn it this way. Oh, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Badger Gate. Uh, you gotta talk to the there you go. Man. Uh, yeah, point of point of order is don't use cheap dollar store Chinese made tools. Because two different a ruler and a tape measure just gave them two drastically different measurements. No. Right there. Just above wow, thirteen. Man. Yeah, but but the other one, the ruler, 13. you said he was. Yeah, but the ruler, other one, you said he was almost a quarter of an inch taller than the uh, tape measure. <laughs> you said with the tape. You said eight. with the ruler. Yeah. He was like thirteen point two and change. I said thirteen and eight. Man. Gate. Oh my god. <laughs> the purple one. He likes to round up for the ladies. And oh, this is more ladies. the size, I think. Would we say Wait, the uh, we, don't, please would we the say the Mark God. 1 with that? Please, please, for the for the love of God. Mark 1 is, is eleven point eight. Oh then this is too short. <laughs> no wait, this is holy shit. This is close oh to the Mark god, 1. Now, height. now we put it. Please, please don't give, don't pull out another ruler, please. I, I can't take it. I can't take. So I he's close to the Mark One height there. The uh, according to my my ruler, <coughs> the Mark Seven height on the same surface. My boy Prime is harshy balls. <laughs> what the hell? I've seen I see the tape measures being out of tolerance plenty of times. That is true. The the dumb tape measures. They, they, they'd be out of whack. But both of those rulers, both being exactly the same out of whack? I don't know. Okay, so the product size height for the Iron Man Mark 7 is 12.79. Oh, somebody's lying to you. Yeah, your rulers. All right, my, <laughs> both my rulers are lying, both of them. <laughs> so... But anyway, um, but the thing is, before we got into this freaking tirade about which is the right height for the Mark 7, we were talking about the size of the Mark 1. And unfortunately, it is a straight-up reissue just with die-cast parts. And, and USB and, engineering. And USB engineering. So those of you who are looking for the die-cast Mark 1 to be taller than the plastic version... You got to You're gonna be disappointed because it's the same size. 
So, yep, yep. Nathan, yeah, Nathan do you like your Mark 7? Is that what you're saying? What's up? Um, Nathan says no seeing over 13 inches. Does that mean he measured his? I'm confused. I think they're looking no. over what you're seeing, but... Yeah. Kind of clearly said over 13 inches. So I guess they're, I guess uh, it is 13 inches. Who's that? It has Who's to that? be. Well, Ben, ben uh, Nathan, Nathan and Ben are agreeing with you. Oh. Thank you. So everybody's got cheap rollers except for Don, because Don's the rich <laughs> guy here, right? I'm going to bust out my wife's measuring stuff, and she measures to the T, man, with her sewing, man. She's got, she's got those tailoring measures. Hey, man, if you're going to get tools, get precision or forget it. Okay, man? You know, Just precision. I would Don use this, but it's not big enough. <laughs> Dog Pride was that military grade. No, no, no. Military grade, let me tell you. Military grade is made by the lowest bidder. Military grade, you know what? Military grade. I mean, listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. J just like uh, anyone who's seen Armageddon, you're you're riding on a thing uh, with 200,000 moving parts and, you know, a million pounds of fuel made by the lowest bidder. That's military grade. So. <laughs> Dog Prime's a tool elitist. <laughs> Damn, Dog Prime, how could you? How could you be a tool elitist, man? Wait, you seriously making mods get the get another ruler? Please, no, Don. Why you do this? No, I'm I told you I can't one. take this. You getting another I was one? Grabbing, I was grabbing this guy because I mentioned him earlier today, man. Oh, the crow. Yeah, cool, cool. That's a great figure, though. He's short. He is very short. And his neck joint sucks, man. He doesn't have a ball on the head. Just that the uh, he just has a pivot at the bottom of the neck. <laughs> These comments are fracking gold. They are gold. I'm only measuring six. Wait, what are we measuring? But you see how nice this jacket looks here? Figures, right? That's our acrylic bench. God, we can't go another eight hours tonight. I've been up since five. <laughs> oh, it's turning out that way, though, isn't it? On the jacket. Look how nice that is, man. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna need a reload. I'll be right back. So, how do you take? So that's how are you taking care of the pleather. Oh, Let's see our acrylic finisher. That's You're it. gonna have to show him though. Mine's downstairs now. But see, he's he's got battle damage on the jacket, so it was very confusing. Um, I thought they were actual rips. So did you did you add the uh, clear finisher on the uh, rips as well? Uh, I, I anything that had this pleather on it, man. I put the acrylic finisher on there, but not in the ribs, no. So but his okay, legs are so, spaghetti, man. He has to have a stand now. He won't stand on his own for much. Why about why about his legs? So you had that a uh, 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 clear finisher to those legs too. So those look like pleather as well. Those actually feel more like leather. So I didn't put any really? on the legs. Yeah, I could be wrong though. Yeah, this crow figure is old school, but really nice, man. It just his his legs have become jello as far as his. I, I probably need to do a body replacement, but he's really thin. He's a, he's a very thin body. I would need to find a thin body uh, to replace it with. Hmm. You th you th do you think that we would have gotten like a reissue of the crow figure if um if um um they had you know greenlanded the reboot for crow um possibly i mean i wish i had the exclusive one it came with that uh church piece that uh the metal the rod ah, the okay. but uh, i didn't get that one but i think i paid 205 for that um uh, single, uh, I don't know if I'd want to use a Fison, uh, that silicone body thing. I don't need to hide joints at all, and I think that would kind of just, the friction when trying to put that on top, you're putting clothes on him and stuff, he's got very skin-tight clothes. Mm. It would probably be a pain in the butt. I think I'd rather have that smooth yeah. body of a plastic body in there. I just need better legs. His legs are rubbish. So, Mazo, what's your schedule like, um, the next few days? Next few days, I work Friday, but other than that, I'm pretty open. Why? What's up? Okay. No, I was asking because I want to, like, uh, I was thinking of doing, of bringing back some, because I, uh, the channel, 
used to be, you know, Funko Pops and movie reviews. And I used to love doing movie reviews or show reviews. Ugh. And I wanted to try and do a stream where we just, like, we strictly talk about our thoughts on shows and movies. We need to watch Ted Lasso together. We'll do a watch party for Ted Lasso. So I got one episode out, but you know we can we can start at season one. Dude, Wait. I'm gonna just tell you if you want to see a freaky movie that will that's like a mind trip, Southland Tales. It's got The Rock, that's Sarah right. Michelle. Yeah. It's the alternate timeline oh, where everything, time. yeah, where everything up to 2005 in our history is the same. Then there's another attack, of two big ones in another place, and then it's literally, it splits timeline. And oh, wow. that movie actually, like, the quantum mechanics they talk about in that movie literally makes the stuff they talk about in Ant-Man literally look like it's fourth grade stuff. They actually get into, like, legit quantum mechanics in that movie. So. Hmm. That'd, be, that'd, be a nice, that'd be a nice figure to reissue as a crow. I want to. I want to buy this crow a solid off shotgun. Whoa! He almost Did fell. He almost, he almost fell. Yeah, his knee Don't bent. His knee bent really far back when I was picking up the stand. Yeah, that's why when I have figures right next to me that have iffy um, standing positions, I just place it down on, on on the table because I don't want it to be falling as I'm freaking streaming. Well, I mean, he's in a stand. I was just picking him up, and his knee just. You know, bent. Ah. I got him in the rocker pose. Normally, I don't, but that's what I did. Yeah. So let me ask you a question: Did you buy anything during the sideshow con period? I bought Boba Fett. I, well, okay. In um, armor. Cool, cool. I mean, I grabbed uh, Boba Fett and the Mark One, but I also ended up grabbing some art. No, nah, I'm too poor. <laughs> I have no, uh, literally three figures scheduled to show up next month alone, and I haven't saved a penny for them yet. Yeah, no, um, I'm I, I, yeah, I, I, I actually bought my fourth Ar um, Ac Acme archive piece. So, and this one is the uh, Mandalorian salute. It's like the storyboard version um, where they do the previs, and this is actually, you know, it's signed. So, now again, first of all, problems. I got to go get it framed. And I'm just trying to figure out, should I frame the certificate of authenticity Cause since the print is signed? you know. Yeah, but. I don't buy a lot of artwork because I have a lot of movie posters from my jobs at a movie theater. You know. Oh, I have movie posters too, my friend. Um, and yeah, again, they're, they're just called the art. They're wall, man. You know, uh, see? Oh, oh, yeah. My big one is um, The Empire Fire, Strikes. Yeah, my big one is the Empire Strikes Back, the original coming soon one with the Vader. Um, not focusing. Picked, I apologize. Yeah, with the Vader helmet in the background. That that's oh, my. Oh yeah, I remember that room. Yeah. And then there's it's, and then there's Halloween and Halloween nice. Kills, and then. Dr. Oh C. man, I remember. I remember your Funko Pops used to be, at that there over there. So, yeah. yeah, there's some still, but not many. I, I I love your setup too, man. Those were there were some good days. Uh, I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, sick well, of it. I'm looking through. Yeah, yeah so eleven point eight. That Iron Mark One is eleven point eight. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for those who've been looking forward to this, but it's not going to be bigger than. The, you the size of that I'll, just, I'll just say this. I'll just say oh, this. Wait. If you don't like this and you're trying to go find an uh, you know a version two and MMS one sixty eight, those are trending at almost. 700 used it's the same size though why would it matter well because some people like literally they're gonna see this oh screw it i'm not gonna pay this they think they can go get them you know the version 2 the 168 and it's gonna be cheaper no the the plastic 168 is running at 700 dollars. it's cheaper to buy the die cast version right now i'm, I'm sure saying. it'll come down though when people upgrade to this one the people that have the plastic yeah but that's still two to three years away and plus this has got the usb lighting so there's no reason not to go with this one if you're going to get one at all I know, but again, some people are like, oh, the height. So they're literally going to go on eBay once they find the height, and they're going to look to see what the 168 costs. And then when they see it's $250 more than this, they're going to be like, yeah, I'll go with this one. Yeah, the next uh, movie poster I got coming in, by the way, is uh, I think Dune. I'll be getting that one at is some point. Which new, version Which the new, the new version one. of Dune? The new one. That's the only one I have access to. <laughs> what, the 2005 one? 
the one that comes out this year. Oh, oh, you're saying Dune. I thought you said Dune. Doom. No. Oh, oh, Dune. That that looks sick. That looks insane. Yeah. But from what I'm hearing is, I just hope Jason Momoa is not on the poster. Well, uh, I just like apparently what they did is they're gonna split the book up into two parts. The the main book that's gonna be the is they're gonna make it in two parts. But the caveat is the second part is not guaranteed. The second part is gonna be dictated on how the first part does. Well, as long as they take the story up until like the original Dune movie, like that's a good stopping point. Although it didn't actually rain, but where part. where he takes over and he's basically running um, Dune itself. Yeah, House of Trades. Yeah, but for those who haven't read the book, it doesn't rain on Arrakis yet. True story. If you've only seen the original movie, it doesn't rain yet. They don't just win the war; it starts raining. Yeah, I mean, and there's there's. What three more books after that? I think four total. There's tons of books. I don't. Know. Well, in the in the main sequence of the Atreides line, there's there's the four so. main books. My wife and will then... tell you more than I can. I actually haven't read them yet. Okay. Hey, question. Uh, do, I'm going would to. Would that work? The ankle extenders for uh, for a uh, Mark One? Would it work? What ankle extenders are we talking about? You know, because the um, the Mark One is a little is a, is pretty much shorter than what we expected. For the diecast version, so in order to make it a bit more accurate, if most people feel that way, you know, just uh, get the ankle extenders. What, what I mean, again? That depends on. What are we talking about? It depends on how they design their foot, and the you know, is the foot an armor piece? Is it a separate piece it puts in? Is it all one piece? Who knows? Um, but yeah, um, you can literally get they'll add different sizes. They'll add like a quarter inch to a half an inch height. It's literally you put it over where you, you know, install it into the foot. Normally, you put it on that, and then on the extension piece, you put the shoe. So you literally add a quarter inch to a half inch height to the overall figure. I know some of the Fison figures come with that um, standard, so you can play with the height. By the way, Ben, have a good night. Take it easy, thank Ben. You. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thank you for listening to Maz. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for listening to me. Not that he can see me anymore. He always covered my face with that thing. You should put that at the top so, cover of your face for a while. <laughs> no, I'm just like this voice my, that they then, hear. I'm not then, a person at all. I gotta treat me like an object. I got to move the screen down towards you, and then I'm like, how do I do that? You can always make that a little bit smaller. I don't know. doesn't matter. I'm just playing. <laughs> you can oh, just yeah, put me off on the other side by myself. Put you in the corner uh, with, uh, with your. Uh, yeah, you can put baby in the corner. I'm fine with that. But yeah, put Maz in the corner. Now this is the Hulkbuster cos baby everybody's been talking about. Yeah. This very. This they very keep trying to bring baby. these things into our shop, and I'm like, please stop. <laughs> Wait, they are bringing it to them. your shop? Huh? They are What's bringing that? this to your shop. They have cos babies at my shop. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If you want them, please come buy them. I'm tired of looking at them. No, I don't want them. <laughs> Why are they buying them up? Why are, are they? Are, are you? Are you? Uh... I don't know. I think he sees hot toys, and then also since he sells so many Funko things, he's like, "Well, this is for my market," and yet they're too expensive for the Funko collectors that just want to buy ten dollars commons. You know, they're twenty dollars. You know, I don't know. I tried to explain it to him. I was like, "This is not your same market. They might be cutesy and about the size of a Funko Pop, but..." They're ten dollars more. No. Who knows? I wonder if this is a sign that we might see the Hulkbuster um, neon tag. Oh dear lord! <laughs> you mean the you you mean the rumor? Um, I Just mean, and even people have done uh, no. I mean, people have done photoshops of it, but the rumor is a is a Hulkbuster green gamma protocol. I mean, you know, that's the rumor. People have actually photoshopped like Hulk Green onto the um, Mark One, uh, the first version of the Hulkbuster, and it l legitimately looked like it was an official Hot Toys announcement. But I mean, we heard rumors well back that they were thinking about doing a Hulkbuster, and then the p pandemic hit, and then they stopped that. But then they came out with the 4.0, so who knows? I heard a rumor they would make Ripley a power loader. <laughs> 
See, Don All right, new game, folks. New game, Don folks. Every time Moz says power loader, you must drink. There you go. And goddamn, we'd be dead by now. Well, uh, I just had three shots. I'd be like. Oh, so speaking, speaking of uh, drinking, Ju July 30th, this Saturday, we're going to be unboxing the Mark IV exclusive edition nice. Infinity War. Uh, it's gonna be a drink. Uh, we're gonna be drinking Bacardi's and unboxing that Saturday night. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Just make sure you read. I, I right. might actually, yeah. I mean, normally I drink Jack Shaw, but I might go and get myself a little Bacardi to join in on the fun as well. You're gonna drink rum, man. Kilo Kai is the shizzle. It's a caramel spiced rum. It's beautiful. Dude, when I used to drink rum back in the day, you had a little, you know, seven. Up, I mean, um, little Sprite. You throw some Skittles in there. You know, you make it all fruity. Hell yeah. They don't. They don't make the bottle anymore. They just do a sticker on the bottle now. But this is a shizzle, right here, man. My shizzle, my nizzle. Do you want rum? Look for this. Um, stuff. They sell okay, the liquor so, store on my house, Nate. If you want to go get some. All right. Yeah. So I actually have a glass cleaner. It's um. It's not a spray. It's actually a foam. It's like an industrial class glass cleaner that, when it comes out, it comes out in a foam. And then when I use that, I actually don't, I use, um, like one of the, the specific cleaning cloths that come with the module cases when you order them. Um, they're almost like the microfiber, but they don't have the fiber, the fabric in them. Um, and I use that and it works perfect. Um, again, not the spray glass cleaner, but foam glass cleaner. I'll have to keep that in mind when I get mine. I mean, again, that's I mean, what, that's what I use. It's all over my, my cases. That's why I don't have a camera pointing at my cases because... Trying to keep up with that that fog that gets on my glass, just hell with it. Yeah, and again, I'll tell you flat out, they're magic cases. You're gonna get bounce back in reflection. There's nothing you can do about it. They can be a thousand percent clean, just because of the material used in the acrylic. It, you're gonna get bounce back from the light, um, and that's that. Just, that's kind of indicative of the strength and quality of the the material used. So you went with the strips, so, though. I'm going with the spotlights. Yeah, I went with the strips. I thought I'd try hey, the spotlights, Maz. and if I didn't like it, I'd put in strips later. Yeah. Hey, hey, Moz. Hey, Nate. I got, I, I got, I got something for you, man. Kilo K. Ah! <laughs> I won. Give it to now, me. now, now. Make sure for the finishing <laughs> shots. It's up to your body. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, make sure you go for the kill shot and you just take his heart out, okay? Man. <laughs> need to put that figure out, man. Go scroll down to when that date was on that thing. 2014 or 2015, right? 2017, I think. 2017. Oh, damn. Wait, why did it say 2.0 on this? Because the, the original was a model. It looks like garbage. I mean, yeah, the original the was a. Sucks, but the other Ripley looks like garbage, garbage. Yeah, but wasn't the 1.0 basically a model kit that you had to put together? I don't know. I don't have it. But, I mean, the power loader itself and the 1.0, I think it's fine. It's just the Ripley is garbage. So if they just release a Ripley, I'll bite the big one and pay 600 bucks for the old one just to get the, the power loader. As long as I can get an Aliens Ripley. Really? Negan, don't, don't make me sad like that. Negan, good call, <laughs> brother. Don't don't make me sad. Okay, can you update it? Can you update your order to change the uh, the? I only still get the spotlights, man, because I know I won't be able to just go find those at Home Depot or whatever, where I can get the this light strips from Home Depot or whatever. No, you won't, because these light strips are specifically designed and sized for module cases. So if you think you're gonna go to Home Depot and get the right size, no. Hate to, no, they're like they're designed specifically for the sizes of the module cases. In fact, like when you order. Like the the amount and size of lights depends on what or, unit you order. So, I, I did the six per DF for the spotlights. Okay, so I mean you can st it, it, you can buy the spotlights off Magic Case as separate items if you want to. All right. Well, now um, I will um, agree. I will agree with single songwriter that uh, because of what because ha um, Hot Toys does have issues with licensing with certain figures like the. Um, the Mark II hover conversion for the 
um, DeLorean. Mm -hmm. The reason why they never put it out because of the, uh, I think some some other company had the licensing for that. Mattel. So they couldn't. Dude, just give me a Ripley with, with Newt 2 Well, but here's the thing, though. But, but here's the, okay, here's the thing with the power loader, though. The power loader, even though it was made 1986, um, the movie was made 1986, supposed to be futuristic. The power loader itself was actually based on a real item in Japan, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. So, the issue with licensing might not be with the movie, but the company that actually had the power loader, which was real. They had exo suits back in the 80s, but I don't think they had like the giant claws or whatever. But the basic design was owned by another company. So, again, that potentially may run into issues. Just like potentially why if you're a Macross or Robotech fan, you know about Harmony Gold. And yeah, I know that. about the Battletech. Robotech thing. And, and I think you might be running into that type of situation here with the power loader. That's okay. Disney now owns it. And Disney will get it. True. Yeah. Well, we'll, see. We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm just hoping that Hot Toys... Uh, Hot Toys. I'm hoping that Disney puts out some good products because, well, the, the, new, the new Predator is all... That's all Fox, right? I'll be right back. The, the last remnants of Fox. Well, it was started production in Fox. I don't know if it's still... I mean, obviously, if it's still going, Disney's now. I mean, it's probably not Fox anymore. Disney probably greenlit it still. They're like, all right, continue working on it, you know. So, we shall see. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, That's I guess the we'll, size, we'll, guys, we'll right there. That's the size of the uh, Mark One, right there. This guy. Oh my God, we're back to this again. What you doing? That the sound wave is the size of the Mark One. True story. It's a, it's a, it's the size of the Mark One. No, no. Yeah. In that pose, it's the size of the Mark One. So it's literally about the size of the Wolverine. Wolverine's a little bit taller, but yeah. True story. You're breaking my, you're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, man. You're breaking my heart with that. Ah, nah, the Power Lorder, man. It it was a great it was a great looking piece, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. Don't say that. Unless, uh, unless Alien be, uh, Alien gets a resurgence and hype. Maybe the show will get happen. a resurgence and they'll put out more merch or something. Which one? The show that they're doing. The yeah, Alien yeah. If they if the show does well and then the hype goes up, because everything right now is Star Wars and Marvel. And it's barely DC, barely. Well, like, I mean, like, you know, toy, like I did, at least give me the Ripley. Just give me the Ripley. I mean, I have the Alien Ripley, but her hair's not right for aliens. Her hair's longer than Alien, so yeah. And I'm happy though that I have the Alien Ripley because she's worth major money. But she's uh, uh, his the, she's like so six to eight hundred dollars in the aftermarket. But I also, I want to ask this, to Don. Don, you did say yeah. that we're over, there's only going to be one day for uh, Summerfest for uh, DC. Um, I don't know if it's one day. I heard it's going to be a specific day only for DC property. I don't know if it's going to be another mini con or whatever. But I know DC is supposed to have their own specific day. So, uh, that's Doc, the case, I have... sorry. Uh, say it. Go ahead. I was just telling Doc I have all the Predators with the exception of two Super Predators from the Predators movie because I'm not a huge fan of that movie. Uh, so I don't have the Berserker or the Falconer. I have the Tracker though. Yeah, and oh, Doc. Oh, with the Predators. Yeah. Yeah, and Doc, we need a we need a reissue of Hudson or an update. We need an an update yeah. of Hicks. We need a we also. We need an Apone. Apone. An update of Apone, because a lot of people don't realize Apone. You know the the company. You know the platoon sergeant. Yeah, yes. he was actually in Vietnam. Yeah, and he was actually one of the first black um, Marines to receive a battlefield promotion to NCO in Vietnam. Nice. So he's legit. He he was legit before he was Look ever into an actor. My so. eye. Exactly. I love that kid. I I love him. I, I, um, I just he's wish an awesome got character. A lot more of him. I just wish he got a lot more of him throughout the movie. Well, uh, you know, he actually he, he voiced What's himself up? in all the other video games. Yeah. Before he died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. 
Yeah, I the thing is what I loved about him is that he's the um he he was, you know, um the inspiration for um Johnson, Sergeant Johnson in Halo. Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he was like, a, like not a big Halo guy, but uh, so Halo, the first, the first um, FPS, um, one of the first FPS shooters for, for Xbox that pretty much put it on the map, on the map. Well, speaking like, of Halo, I'm up? just saying. And now we've touched on this before. Halo's the the TV series that's on Paramount that's supposed to be coming out next year. The trailer for that's supposed to release very soon because a couple months ago they actually. There were leaks which showed the Warthog, showed Master Chief's armor, which is more in the um, the first two movies because his shoulder armor is not like the giant square from the redesign. It's like the original Spartan armor. Mm -hmm. And they actually yeah. showed um, some pictures of the Covenant, and they look fantastic. Nice. They I mean, it, it, they look organic. You don't know whether it's you know someone with a CGI um, input on or if it's actual prosthetics. It's... But you can actually see the facial details. It looks amazing. Very nice. So. Very nice. But uh, yeah, I love all my Predator stock. Um, I have a couple of the aliens. I still need a big chap. Um, I want a dog alien or a bull, obviously. But, you know, <laughs> dog alien. They don't call it the runner. They don't call it the bull alien. They call it the dog alien. Are we going to have another fight? Mommy, daddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, canonically, it's called the runner. I'm just saying, canonically. But I don't have the, the MMS-90, which is the original Jungle Hunter. I have the 162, which is the classic from Predators, and I got a custom conversion done to make him a Jungle Hunter because I really wasn't a huge fan of Predators. I'm one of the few Predator fans that wasn't a huge fan of that movie. I didn't hate it. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily... Oh, I, I, I felt they just left predators, me kind of... And I the funny like, thing is, Predators... Predators was actually more like the original script for um, Predator. It was called Hunters. Yeah. So I like it. I, I mean, I, I think Adrian Birdie's awesome in that. Well, the no, no, my he's problem playing was more like the Predator designs. I wasn't a fan of the, the Bad Bloods. I didn't like how they, especially Berserker, I think they just went way off trying to make a new look and just it fell flat in my my. Uh, Okay. Uh, even, I do have uh, three Terminator pieces. I have MMS-33, I have DX-10, and I have MMS-238, the battle-damaged uh, Terminator. Uh, 33 is the uh, is the uh, skeleton, the original exoskeleton. And DX-10 is the non-battle-damaged of Schwarzenegger's Predator. I went with that because his clothes are actually leather as opposed to pleather with the DX-13. And I didn't want to have to deal with that upkeep. Although now, seeing how much the DX-13 is going for, I probably should have went that way and just take care of his pleather like I do here. Uh, I didn't like the AVP Predator design so much either, and it, they look great, like, when the camera's, like, on them, but, like, that far off scene where it's running with Alexa's wood character... His torso looked way too long, and he just moved. He didn't look. It was just the way they moved. They, and then of course you always have the the jaw problem having with with all the newer predators. They make the jaws way too extendable, which gives them the slack when they close their mouth. It looks so fake. Mm -hmm. It's annoying to watch. Sure, true. So those are my problems with those predators. Uh, the only good looking predators, in my opinion, are the first two, um, and of course the lost tribe. That you see at the end of number well, two. I enjoy the AVP looks, though. Uh, like I said, when you get them like close up and they keep the mask on, they look fine. It's when you see those long shots and you see how disproportionate they are because the armor makes their chest look huge, like this way, and then they get so slender and just look really funny. Um, I mean, I have the figures. The figures look great. I love the figures. I'll, I'll whip one out if you want. I'll whip oh, yeah. it out. Oh. Pull me over one, man. Oh. Hey, single songwriter. Yeah, I definitely think about going to that con, except the only problem is I would literally leave that con, come back, and I'd have to travel two days later to go to New York. But yeah, I mean, Bangor is pretty good. I mean, that's still a, a little hike for me, but yeah, that's li that ends literally two days at, before I have to travel to New York Comic Con. So, um, and then there's the 
Yeah, and then there's another con, um, you know, some people, you know, have said, it, you know, interest in me going to is, uh, is in Baltimore two weeks after New York Comic Con, so... It's like I gotta prioritize where and when I'm going, and uh, unfortunately, Bangor is not big enough right now. Um, but because like, we have one in Manchester, um, like this, I think it's the same company. So, but I appreciate it. But good luck for uh, promoting local oh stuff. Oh my God! Yes, 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 yes. There it is. There it hold is. On, one of my on. favorites. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the OG. Two, no, just, no, ADP. Just yeah. Just can I just say one thing? But while Moz is playing with this stuff, yeah. So. If you go down to these, uh, the leak promo shots from the trailer, there's an area that looks like it's really congested, almost like it's a city, but it's enclosed, almost like in a spaceship. Keep going. Go down one more. I think one more. Down. Like this. When I'm seeing this, and I'll be honest, the first thing... I think of when I see this as high charity, the Covenant yeah. home world. Well, not feels the home like world, but yeah. yeah, it's basically like their their home structure. This feels like like high charity when I see this. But I'm trying to figure out when this is happening, though. I, I, are they introducing high charity this early for the for the first Halo? Show? I I. But the thing is, I don't think they're gonna do like an origin or backstory. I think they're gonna literally make the series as most of the people watching this already know the backstory in the canon. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is in the middle of the their version of the war, or at the very end of the or, or as the war is ending. There's Look at him! More. That's beautiful, man. Ah, that's what I want right there. Now that's you do have to be careful with this guy because his straps, like on his legs here, the the straps on along his thigh, that's that pleather, and that actually I've had to re-glue those a few times. Uh, he's got straps holding these bicep pieces on, which is also pleather. So again, like especially when it's gauntlets, because you want to anchor your hand up near here when you're putting his hands back on, when you're switching out hands, because the gauntlets keep trying to fall off, or not gauntlets, bracers, and uh, yeah, so you got to worry about the 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 pleather there. How tall are they? Uh, he's well. You want me to try my rule? <laughs> <laughs> <A> ruler gate. <laughs> he is close to fourteen inches. 14 oh. inches. Wow. That's crazy. So they're standing still... over they 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 will stay, they will tower over your Iron Man's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um I was gonna pull out <laughs> one more though. <laughs> I, was pull out, I was gonna pull out one of my customs real quick since you like the EVP so much. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a single songwriter, you are a freaking uh, hilarious comedian tonight. Thank you. I need the laughs. Um, but yeah, um, single songwriter. Yeah, we're going to try and do some videos, but again, um, me and Nate, we're already working on some stuff. I've already uploaded software to my phone, already working on stuff so I can do live streams Thursday morning when SDC opens because I'll be running right to the uh, Comic-Con area as fast as I can. I'll probably get up and then go wait in line for like three or four hours if I can. Damn, I wish I, I wish I um, pulled some triggers some predators the other day. I, I showed Maz the other day uh, some of the prayers I really wanted. I should have picked those up. Those that, that was a good deal. This is a custom... Okay. <laughs> My bad. This, this <laughs> My is bad. a scar converted to a chopper. Because they didn't make a new updated body for the chopper. They, they still have the old one. And I actually got a different chopper mask coming in. Because if I can get the glare off of it. This one feels kind of plasticky. It's great. It just doesn't sit quite right. So I got LRL Customs sending me a new one. That's going to look a bit more in line with the rest of the costume. Because I don't know if you can really tell. That it just seems to be like. The wrong tones to match with the armor here uh -huh. so and of course all these divots they just really went nuts with that and i told him when he was making it i was like don't put all those divots in there because it's not really there it just looks like they're there but uh yeah this is a like i said a scar converted and i took these off of my ancient predator 
these blades here. So. Cool, yeah, cool. this is originally this is the one that uh, gets murked first, right? Yeah, yeah, he's the first to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the first to die. Yeah, but he kills the most humans, I think. Yeah, he he did kill most of the humans, though. That's what's mm -hmm. hilarious about it. But I had one more predator I was going to show you guys. It was my second hot toy I ever bought. My first being that Eric Draven, the crow. So uh, let me pull him out real quick. Um. Penny Weisswin. Um Again, I keep screwing your name up, and I'm sorry. Um, again, I don't know if you're in 2019, but actually Bandai actually had two different boots. They had one that was actually in the convention area that wasn't that far from the Sideshow booth, but then they actually had another store that was in the main lobby um, at the Javits Center. So I don't know if the store um, outside, if they're going to do the same thing if they have the two stores. Um, so again, if it's they might actually have it in the store that's out actually side the main exhibit areas that's just in the concourse area of Javits. But again, you, you might already know that. But again, anybody who's go, anticipating going to New York Comic Con, um, you'll actually have certain retailers that will have boots that are in the concourse so you don't even have to go into the main exhibit areas of Comic Con to buy stuff. So, And yes, I do have the Celtic Predator as well, Lane. This is Wolf from uh, AVP2, which the movie was kind of crappy, but this Predator was awesome. I, I missed my chance to pick that up. I should have picked it up. Uh, I bought this one from Underground Figures because um, Sideshow was already sold out of them, but they still had them at Underground Figures. For retail? Yep. Wow. So uh, I'm holding them too tight as bandoliers. Yeah. And... Wasn't it this one and the uh scar predator that i showed you that other day that i wanted to buy uh that those two figures together say again oh remember, the, uh, remember, remember you wanted to buy a two-pack or something you said yeah there was a two-pack they were doing uh, uh, at facebook somebody was doing i should have picked i should have picked up both of those yeah you should it have a, man. yeah uh, it, was, it awesome. was a decent price too it was a decent price too my only complaint with wolf is this right here this does not like to stay the the whip the hole that they got that in there is just it barely hangs in there so like it will always fall off if i'm not careful but uh exactly oh than that yeah great great figure this is a beautiful piece but uh yep um again penny bison yeah cool um i completely understand about you know the 10 minutes and, you know, running out of stuff. I was fortunate enough on the uh, the Friday I was there in 2019. I was actually the first person in line for the Marvel booth. So, yeah, I, I completely understand where you're getting on in exclusives. Um, but, yeah, um, so good luck. I, I totally hope you get everything you're looking for. Um, and I'll probably see you there. So, yep. Yeah. But Hot Toys Predator is where it's at, man. They, they do some awesome work with these figures, especially now that they're no longer model kits. Because I have the model kit for this guy. Other than the, the, the chest burster, I left the rest in the box, man. It, the kit is a, ugh, it's, it's rubbish to deal with. Um, the aliens, though, the AVP aliens, those are kits. They, those aren't too bad. But uh, the, the Predator, no. I'm not a fan of the kits. They, they, don't, they don't look good at all. Now, now here's a serious question, though. No. And I'm not trying to say this to be a buzzkill. You think Disney's going to basically redesign the Predators? Because now I this is the first... I mean, again, this is... I know it was under development with Fox. But it actually went into production, shot, post-production, all under the Disney brand label. Do um, we have... Uh, do you fear anything? That's my question. Do no, you fear I, that Disney is going to screw something gonna... up? The way I was reading the, the article that was on, uh, I think it was Collider, they did an article from the director who was talking about it. It sounds like he's going to be pretty honorable to the classic material. Uh, he's going back to the first movie and trying to build off of that, but this is going to be a prequel to any other Predator visit. Um, and real quick, though, before I forget, Lane Kramer is asking how much are the Hot Toys Predators are going for now. I think the cheapest one you'll find is around 350 Uh Wolf here is closer to five 
the AVP ones are all closer to five. Uh, anybody else is usually around 350. So, uh, and of course, Ripley fetches in between six and eight. I've seen good for. So. And the Pred Alien is ungodly expensive. If you can handle the battle damage one, it's like 450 bucks. But if you want the, the original release, non battle damage, it's closer to two grand. It's insane. But, and then, but then you have to repair that too, right? Yeah. Especially if the will. joints are bad. Yeah, it's got bad joints you got to mess with, but uh, yeah, uh, isn't most of the predators that uh, you purchase, um, if they're not taken care, uh, taken care of correctly, they're damaged. Yeah, yeah, I try to buy them all uh, never opened. I've gotten pretty lucky on that. Uh, my scar I found in a mom and pop comic shop in California called Blast in the Past. They had it on their webpage, and uh, actually, Scar wasn't on the webpage. They had the classic. Predator MMS 162, and they had Shadow Hunter, and I bought both of those. And then I hit them up, and I said, "Do you have any others that aren't here?" And they went through the list, and they had Scar, the new one, 300 bucks, new in the box. And you won't see Scar for that price. Um, Damn, Scar, that's an that's an immediate jump. Yeah, I was like, mine. Uh, everything else that they had was the version ones. So, uh, but uh, yeah, the I, I one, the, the version one of Scar. Yeah, they did a, a earlier model where it was the kit instead of the uh, the figure, so it was just the. Um, I don't like any of the kits. Um, the only nice thing about the kits is they got models that they didn't make in the figures, like uh, the Guardian, uh, for example, wait, or I think the Shaman wait, Predator. Which wait, is Hot Sunday. Toys did this? Yeah. Really? Look up uh, Hot Toys checklist Predator. Oh wait, yeah, <laughs> way back in the day. Yeah. Wow. But uh, hey. my my uh, city hunter I got from Amic Time. Uh, they had one. It was like three, about three hundred dollars at the time. It was the only one they had. Um, my elder I got from a shop in Australia. Uh, Undergroundfigures.net. They don't have any predators up there anymore, though. They're all gone. No, but the um, single songwriter. They just got a somehow got a mysterious shipment of OG Mandos in. And Lane Kramer's like, "Yep, give me that right now." Underground Figures, hold on, I shop with them. They're out of Rhode Island. Yeah. It's undergroundfigures.net. Um, yeah, I can it. personally attest for them. Because they again, get your uh, stuff out quick too. Uh, when I whenever I ordered things, oh, I yeah. mean, literally I got it within like three days, and I'm in Georgia. So from New York, Rhode Island area to Georgia, I mean, the USPS or whoever you're shipping with. Exactly. Yeah, I, you I'm. You didn't sit on it and make you wait. They're in Warwick, Rhode Island. I'm in Derry, New Hampshire. So. Literally, when they, you know, I order priority mail, it literally, sometimes they ship it out. It comes to me within 12 hours of them shipping it out if it gets on the right chain. So they, again, they're a small mom and pop operation on a Warwick, Rhode Island. If they you take order care tonight, of their customers. Tomorrow, you won't be waiting like Ex another yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Undergroundfigures.net is the website. They're a legit good place to go to. Not very big as, you know, some of the other places, but good customers. Well, they've gotten a lot more popular because you used to be able to find, like, Hoth Leia. I told Nate when he was looking at Star Wars stuff before I was even buying it, there's some of the different Leias. It's like, you looking for a Hoth Leia, they still have her right there, brand new in the box. I don't know if he ever bought it, but... No, no, I, I never bought it because I already, I already got it from Sideshow. And she was... And she was she, but Sideshow was sold out and everything. You know, they just had them sitting there, like... Hey, I got my, I got my Hoth... Like, I got my Hoth Leia, actually, from Hollywood Studios' Disney Launch Bay. You probably paid more than retail for it, then, if it's Disney. No, I, yeah, I paid $6 over retail for it, you know, not including Florida tax. Okay. Um, the weird thing is, when you go to, like, I'll just say this. when you If you go to Disney and you go to Hollywood Studios' Launch Bay, they actually have Hot Toys there. They used to have Sideshow. That's a whole other story. But as far as their markup... It's only a couple of dollars. It's not a percent. It's only a couple of dollars. And yeah. when you factor in shipping and tax and everything, you're, you potentially... Now, again, like when you have to ship it from Disney World to yourself because you don't want to take it on a plane, that's another cost. But the actual take-home price, when you figure everything, when you're going for Disney, Disney World, ain't that bad. Now, Universal... God help you if you buy a one-six figure at Universal. Okay. You should be slapped in the head. And that's all I'll uh, say. 
Negan, to answer your question, uh, if you order via the internet, I don't think they charge you tax. No, if you're not in the state. Um, yeah, they're not. They're not large enough to to do the full tax collection. So. Yeah. So. But I got I got this guy there. I got uh, my crow there. I'm trying to think. If there was anybody else I bought? Oh, from my last one I got from them was my um, team suit Stark. Hmm. Like literally, he when he, he got it in within forty minutes of him getting it in, posting on Facebook, I had a shipping notice. So yeah, yeah, he doesn't waste any time. He's great, great people. I wish I could order more from him, but I, I was using them more or less to catch the figures that were no longer available because he wasn't sold out so quick. But now he sells out pretty much like everybody else. So okay, Lane, um, Lane, Toy Jojo. Let me tell you about Toy Jojo. Um, I've been shopping with Toy Jojo since they were known as Ed Bomber Toys. I personally know the owner, Ed. He will bend over backwards, just like underground figures. These are small, collector-owned shops. Ed at Toy Jojo. He is actually a subscriber to this channel as well. He will take care of you, He and he will make sure everything with your order is correct have no doubts have no insecurities toy dojo ed will take care of you and again if you want to even say hi or whatever tell him metallic grunt sent you because ed knows me you know from tfw but yeah ed knows me metallic grunt um don prime he knows he'll he'll take care of you if you want to set up an account and let him know i sent you there so he'll take care of you he's got some and again that's the, left over here and again that's I get nothing from that. He, I consider him a friend. He has taken care of me so many times in the past, so I just want to send him any potential new business. So, you still got some GI Joe figures up there. Oh yeah, some of the GI Joes. Damn, they he still got the they got the Mandarin over here. You know what the funny thing is? You could almost use the Roadblock head sculpt for a modified um, sh um Black Adam yeah. head sculpt. Yeah, that's as soon as I saw that, I'm thinking, Black Adam, like a like a modified or very Bruce Willis sculpt. Head sculpt you could use from GI Joe as well. Okay, I guess uh, the pages don't the other pages don't work. This is all they got. Are you hitting next or three? Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting next. I'm oh, also hit, hitting hit three. Them. I'm hitting three. See? Huh. Yeah. Now, how much is the Mandarin? Because at one point you could get that off of Pulp Culture for ninety nine bucks. Two two oh eight right now. Okay, so that's basically it's still under retail. Yeah. Well, his prices are usually under retail too. Uh, when you uh, order like his new figures, they'll be like ten dollars cheaper than Sideshow, which I don't understand how they so, do that. So, so I mean, it's almost the the East Coast version of comic comic concepts. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I've used them a few times. I wish I could find more on there that I want to buy, but, um, a lot, lot of good stuff here, especially the, uh, Finn over here. Yeah, if you like that movie. Yeah, if, <laughs> like, they're never going to make another Finn, so if anybody wants I mean, to I'll just say this. Force Awakens, compared to the other two, is a masterpiece. Now, if you add those into the other ones, it's probably five or six for some people out of the nine movies. Um, I'll, I'll just say, I like John Boyega. I think he worked the best with what he was given. I'll oh, yeah, yeah. That. I'm not knocking him. Just, I think the movie was... Uh, like Attack the Block? Uninspired, you know, yeah. Return of the Jedi or whatever all over again. Or, well, well, I mean, I think part of the reason why he was hired to do this was because of Attack the Block. And if anyone has not seen that, check it out. It's basically aliens invade London. Oh, okay. And I think he was primarily hired because of that. But J.J. Abrams basically killed a lot of that electricity, that energy he had, you know, when he was basically the leader of a gang that was fighting aliens in London. And it almost seems like he thought that was going to be part of the premise, and he was kind of li lied to and then the whole issue with china and whatever so 
Um, Lane, um, I've got all of them actually on order. I'm not planning to relinquish any of my Mandos. So I have the deluxe version of the new Best Car Mando on order. The one with all the goodies. Uh, and then I ordered the swoop bike as well. Uh, Lane, I, I have the, uh, the, like the, uh, the deluxe version, but I, I bought the Season 2 upgrade kit from none other than Moz. So I painted it and did all that jazz. So um, I'm not going to be upgrading it because mine, as it is right now with the upgrade parts, is a Season 2 with a Beskar Spear. Yeah. Again, from Moz. But I also wanted the other parts, the swoop bike and the Boba Fett armor and everything. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, it's all up to what you want. Just be smart. Make sure your bills are paid. You put money away for an emergency before you play. Just, you know, make sure your bills and all the essentials your kids are taken care of before you start getting into big money with these things. And also, yeah, the, another the, PSA. The season 1 best card has the prim, and you're not going to get that with the Season 2. Well, if you buy the uh, accessory set, then you are going to get the prim. So you get the other prim. You get the other prim that uh, Quill made. You don't get the old prim. Yeah. Um, personally, I think... Uh, uh, if you have not purchased a Mandalorian, then go for the Chrome. Uh, and if you want an OG one, get the one on the Blurg. Yeah. That's just yeah, me, get, though. I mean, yeah, I'm, get, I ordered that one, too. I have the OG one. <laughs> I got the Blurg and... Me, too, Blurg man. I, already, I have two I ordered OGs. the whole set. I have two whoa, OGs whoa. and the OG Blurg. Yeah, I got the OG right over here behind me. <laughs> a little, little snippet of a corner. Yeah, but here's the thing about the blurgs and stuff like that. Just wait till we start getting uh, clones mounted on blurgs. Well, because it's Lane, gonna happen. Lane, also remember when you PO that Chrome, you don't have to pay for more than any the, more than the deposit. You can put the rest in the bank and just you know pay it pay for it in two years when it comes out. He's not gonna be out for another year and a half. Yeah, so, yeah um, I, I've got too many pre-orders. Uh, I'm just. Right now, just swimming pre-orders. Yes, you do. And I'm catching uh, uh, you. Apparently. The funny thing is, I might actually have the least pre-orders of a lot of people. I only have thirteen, and that includes two non um, Hot Toys figures. No, I, have, I want um, I want clones on. Yeah, I want troopers on Dubacks, man. I need that. Again, they're gonna extend the blur out. They're gonna change the front hands and the feet. They're gonna remodify the face, and you're gonna get a Dubac with a 2.0 um, Sand Trooper. It's gonna happen. If they do that, I might buy that. Even though I'm trying to stick to Mando, but the the the. Do you know how much the the just the the Dubac one six statue from Sideshow goes for now? You're talking thousands of dollars. Yeah, so. I only ordered one five zero first though. I figured I just have one reporting to Rex or Ahsoka. Well, my issue was my five zero first was tied with Ahsoka, and I ordered through Dojo Toy Dojo for those two. So mm -hmm. then I'm like, crap. So. Yeah, I went to Toys Wonderland. I bought an extra 501st. I already have it. I love it. Then, you know, I contact my guy at Toy Dojo. He knows what's going on, so he's going to split my order. Um, so I'll get my 501st hopefully soon. And then, God knows, you know, we'll probably get, who knows, we might get Ahsoka and Rex released early, you know. Ahsoka released early and then Rex released late. We'll get late. Clone Wars Ahsoka probably around the same time we get Rex. And you know this Toys Wonderland, it's still not coming up for me. It says get ready, something really cool is coming soon. Yeah, now, now supposedly the they're not going to be coming up at earliest till th tomorrow morning, so we're already past seven business days. Okay. So as long as my order's not lost. Oh yeah, I mean no, dude, I've got like forty five thousand points, um, on my account at Toys Wonderland, and I they were gonna, and they said specifically they were gonna allow you to use all your points now to buy order, uh, to buy figures. So who knows? Nice. Do you know how I update my shipping? Because I got one figure, uh, my Boba Fett uh, two-pack I bought, and it's paid off. Where do I go to update the shipping? So I, or do I have go to, wait? to your order. Go to your order inside inside show. Go to your order, and then you. No, can no, not inside it. show. Uh, Toys Wonderland. Good luck with that. Uh, they didn't let me choose a shipping method. No, just message I'll them. Uh, just message them on Messenger. Just message them. Yeah, message them on Messenger. Toys Wonderland Messenger. They'll they'll answer you within a day or two. Literally, okay. they can answer you on on the 
like a, literally an hour before, after you message them sometimes. That do back looks great, man. It, it looks a lot, be, a lot better than the one they animated for uh, for uh, A New Hope. <laughs> the animated one looks horrible. It, even, it did even then. And I was like, ugh. I hate the Lucas re-edits, man. I wish I could find the original releases. Hey, Joe P. Um, so all you have to do is just talk with the uh, the owner of Underground, and he'll set you up with a payment plan on anything. Because it's as Joe P. is saying that you can set up payment plans with uh, Underground. Nice. I have my uh, my Clone Wars mall set up through the, my shop, though. I'm, I ordered them through there. So. Along with cool, my Clone Wars Ahsoka, I think. Because there's a figure in there I might, I might want to pick up from Underground. There's a figure yeah. right in there that I really like. Well, get it, man. Get her done. Yeah, you know, I, ha you know, because, you know, because I, 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 you told me to freaking pre-order the, uh, the, um, Ash? the luxury, the lug uh, Ash luxury edition. Literally that afternoon, I got the uh, wave list converted for the Ash on Sideshow. Now I got two Ashes. Oh, nice! You can give one away. Either give one away or uh, sell to someone that hasn't picked it up yet. Yeah, you can do that too. Yes, email them and they. Let me see. Email them and send them an invoice. I've been doing mall payments of forty-eight at a time. Okay, not bad. Uh, OG fan, there are ways to see the despecialized cut. They have it on the OG fan, but it's just it's one. It's a it's a box set that's a very special version of it that you can find on DVD. But I really like to find a ten eighty or four K. And it's just going to be a matter of them, Disney, able to get it out. But apparently there's rumors that the Masters are ruined or something. So they can't make the transfers. That's what I was hearing. No, no. I mean, uh, well, well, apparently, well, here's the issue, though. Now, the issue prior to them potentially redoing it, re, re, um, another special edition but despecialized, was prior to Disney owning Fox. A New Hope had a special, specific distribution deal that was tied to Fox in perpetuity. Meaning, at the time, unless Disney actually bought Fox, there was no legal way that Disney could obtain the actual distribution rights to A New Hope. So then there's different issues, like there were special licenses, special distribution deals done with Fox, just for A New Hope, even the specialized editions. Long story short, now that Disney no owns anything... There have even been rumors Disney is toying around with re-releasing the original trilogy despecialized. Good, because that's so what I want. The, yeah, there there might be an official despecialized version as well. I hate the specialized versions. I, I really do. I, I I'm I understand that the the originals have their issues, but Han shot first, damn it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So Yeah. Actually, the site now is working for me now. It's letting me to continue on with the numbers. Oh, underground? Yeah, underground. So you're able to see yeah. other stuff? What else they got? Yeah. What's up? What else they got? No, I'm just going through it right now. Um, well, why don't you share uh, that? Some, some of the new stuff they got. They got some of the new stuff right now. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? I don't look at you. <laughs> No, I'm looking at the screen. Jake, he was looking like straight ahead. <laughs> I was like, are you looking at me? Are you are you looking at me? Are you talking to me? Hmm. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no, there was talks that Flash was supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Yeah, there's the OG Mando. Wow, wow 279? Get out of here with this. That's a little higher than retail was, but not bad. Retail wow, was 240 good. something, I think. This is like a five hundred dollar figure going for two seventy nine. Yeah, well, I'm sure mind. his price went down too with the announcement of the new ones. Let me see. Cars on guard. Um, but see how like his Death Watch Trooper I think is a few dollars cheaper, and he's he's cheaper in a lot of them. Wow, two twenty three. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Some good stuff in here, though. Some of the older stuff. And the Blurgs. Oh, wow, he got the Blurgs he's selling? 
out of your damn minds. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll email them um, either tonight or tomorrow. Oh wow, they got the Metal Gear Solid right. Well, they both on throne. That was three ninety on Sideshow, and it's three sixty nine here. They got the, he got the Raiden. They got the Raiden. The Raiden. Oh, man. That's my boy. That's been That's there for boy. a while, dude. I sent you this site like a year ago. Where you been? Where your face been? Yeah, I would love it. If, if, if they, um you know, get the Metal Gear Solid rolling pretty soon. I think it's, um hey, what's his name? Oscar... Uh, Isaac, I, I, Oscar Isaac, who's playing mm -hmm. um, uh, Solid Snake, I would yeah. definitely want the on Hot Toys to hop on that that figure line. Who's the company that's doing Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, but here's the, uh, but here's the problem though with that. Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo's gonna have the ultimate say on who gets licenses, who gets where. Not, I mean, not to Nintendo, Konami. Well, well, yeah, I'm sorry, Konami. Konami um, have the say. Now, Nintendo, depending on the license, they still might have a deal as far as, like, limited say in what happens. Um, but still, I, it, now, they've done the Metal Gear Solid figures in the past with Hot Toys, but what happens if another company or, you know, there's an offshoot or they can get a better deal? I don't necessarily think it's guaranteed Hot Toys would get the, the new Metal Gear line, you know, especially with Isaac Ox Oscarson, whatever his name is. Sorry. Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Yeah. But yeah. Um, now, were there any Final Fantasy Spirits Within figures that ever came out? No, I don't think Hot Toys did one. I could be wrong, though. Or did anyone do the, those figures? I don't know. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, nothing John Snow. Because that's the last giant big Konami film I can think of. Or at least that in the United States. That's Square Enix. Yeah, Square Enix. Final Square Fantasy Square. is Square Enix, yeah, not Konami. Square. Okay, as you can tell, I, like my video game, I'm, I'm probably getting everything mixed up right now. So, yeah, my, my video game. There's something John doesn't asking. know. Thank you. <laughs> like I heard before, if your credit score is higher than the amount of the game system, you're not gonna play it. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, believe me, as I, as I uh, have my PS4 that I haven't played a game on in six months. So, yeah. <laughs> but all right, guys, uh, I guess that's it for today. Um, we don't we yeah. don't really have much to talk about because Hot Toys this week has been very quiet. I really want to. We want to see what uh, we can come up with as far as like DC stuff. But uh, let's just go down the list just to end end the uh, stream. Well, before uh, we end, Negan's asked me a question. I want to answer real quick. I, I intend to stack them at this point, um, but I'll have to see them in hand really. So probably do a three stack high and uh, see how that goes, and then buy more later to add to it. Well, well um, and just jump in real quick. Negan, I, I actually have three different setups. I've got one with um, my Star Wars, or I've got um, three of them all linked together, just real quick, like that. Then I've got my Transformers display right there, which is two linked together, and then I've got my Marvel display, which is just one, and I've got basically only t two figures in the bottom of the Marvel display, so I essentially have a whole Magic case ready for more figures after I moved a bunch of stuff around, so. Nice. Yep. All right. Don Prime, uh, what are you looking forward to DC Summerfest? I'll be honest. Um, I really don't have anything um, or associate with DC besides Batman, but at this point, if people can get their Cyborg figures, good for them, because we don't have to see any more worse Cyborg memes. And... That alone is just a good day for me. <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. Yeah. What about you, Moz? I know you're not a big 
does the league. Ripley or Power that. Loader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, uh, DC wise, I'd like to see my Joker. I mean, the, the DX11 or whatever its equivalent will be, the 3.0. Yeah, the um, DX 20, 22 at this point. So. And uh, I would like to see that Harley Quinn, see how she could, comes out. Yeah, I really want to see the Harley Quinn. I, I honestly thought that the Harley Quinn was going to be the one they were going to show off at, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when they showed off the King Shark. I thought it was going to be freaking Harley Quinn that day. But and actually, before King I Shark. forget, a Hot Toys version of this guy would be awesome. Let's see, which one? The Frank Miller's Dark Knight. Oh, my God, yeah. I don't know if they'll ever do that. Well, you said what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like to see. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is, like... Um, they might do it in a in you know, you know Hot Toys is doing the Iron Man or Marvel comic lines, right? Yeah. Figures. They could they could do that for DC. Very possible. Or they could yeah. also do it in the game verse because in uh, Arkham City, I think you could get a skin for the Dark Knight Returns. Really? Yes. Oh wow! I had it, so I bought yeah, the. the only... I think it was a GameStop exclusive skin or whatever that came with it. And I made sure to pre-order through that particular company to get that skin because I wanted to be that one, and then. It came down to we have to beat the game first to use our skin. I'm like, why? Yeah, this is the only Arkham game I have. Arkham Batman game, uh, video game I have. What's what's on his head? Winter that's, Soldier is on his head. Yeah, that's a Winter Soldier head sculpt to uh, make fun of the, uh, not make fun, but um, oh, Robert, yeah. Robert Patterson look. Yeah, the Robert Patterson look. Yeah, that's a waste of a head sculpt, man. Put Batman's head back on there. <laughs> so I'll put Robert Pattinson, head, uh, Robert Pattinson look like over here for his movie. That surprisingly the, works decently. Yeah, it I does work the, decently. Yeah, I love the pre prestige edition. Um, if only we had the true Arkham Batman costume and not the gold black one, though. Yeah. I, yeah, I never bought a Batman Arkham video game figure until now then now I, I have to get i have to get them all i have to get the uh the the the, the bad girl i have to get i have to pre-order that before that sells out and then i'll get the nightwing as well Hold on, i'm looking for something for you I can send this to you after we're done streaming if you want. But uh... Mythos Batman, yeah, that's my Mythos Batman with our fans. Yeah, Mythos so Batman. Like, that's, yeah, that's my Mythos Batman. <laughs> but um, yeah, for me, I want at least the Suicide Squads, at least two or three of them. I want the two or three Suicide Squads: Bloodsport, Rip Flag, um, Harley Quinn, and then throwing King Shark. I know we've been talking about Peacemaker, but I, maybe it'll hold off Peacemaker till the next till his show pops off so but i think blood sport is gonna happen i want an Idris alba health sculpt that's what i want so that'd be nice so you can make a heimdall yeah they already did a heimdall oh did Not they? Hot toys, though. no third party third party did a ham yeah already. but i meant i meant hot toys so you can make a hot toys heimdall i mean it'd be their head no sculpt. no they never they haven't done done one yet I feel sorry for Idrisalva. He he felt very disappointed with that character. Yeah, it's sad too because I think his character was starting to grow. Yeah, and then yeah, uh, he and then he started. Grow. Yeah, he started complaining about the character. Then this he was like, uh, "How how long is this contract? <laughs> too long. Kill him off." Ding. <laughs> Bye, Idrisalva. When you can play about Disney and Marvel, they, they'll they'll ask you. Did you want a Batman Beyond Batman Arkham Knight Batman Beyond? Well, they already have. I already have. Uh, there's a, not. I don't already have one, but it's still available in SciShow. Oh, okay. All right. I just saw that here on this site. I'm looking at. I was looking to see if they have the original Arkham Batman though. Yeah, I just I just need the Batgirl. I just need Batgirl and then Nightwing. So that's what well, I need. Non gold Batman, that's what you need. Non gold Batman, no, no, I'm fine with the prestige Batman. This that's 70 percent completion right there. Seven, 70 percent or 60 percent. I can't remember. I just know you got to complete a certain amount of um completion in the game in order to get the uh the prestige Batman. I haven't played that game in a, in a minute. 
That's Arkham Knight, right? The Arkham Knight. Oh, yeah. here's the here's the battle damaged armored Batman from BVS. How much is that going for? Three eighty five. Three eighty. That's not bad. That's I can look it to you if you want. I, I, I've se- I've seen it lower. I've seen it lower though. Yeah, this is new in the box. It's not been opened. Pop culture. And here's a Joker Batman. In the Joker Batman Imposter version, three forty five. But, yeah, you, you show me later, man. But uh, anyway, guys, let's uh, pretty much end it. Any anything else you guys want to uh, share share with the team, share with the uh, audience before we head out? Boom! Arkham City Batman one six scale normal version. They have in stock for two fifty. <laughs> uh, well, that's uh, that's sharing it. <laughs> I'm sending it to oh, you. Oh yeah, on definitely. Facebook. How about you, Don Prime? Anything? Uh, nope, nope, um, just again, don't forget Bacardi stream, Saturday, not Sunday, but Saturday night, because that allows Nate to work and drink with us, and unbox, so again, every night, the 31st, will be the next Bacardi stream, so don't forget, and, uh, if you want to play along, bring a few choice beverages. I'll see what I'm doing on Saturday, so. I can't promise anything. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long night, man. So, by the yeah, way, that's why it's Saturday, not Sunday. <laughs> Nate, I've ordered yeah. from them before; they're pretty good. All right, I got the I got the link now. Uh, Local Lou's gonna join us too. We got several people joining us, so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting tonight. I do have the War Machine Punisher that in the Punisher War Machine Mark IV. I want to unbox that night, so I might unbox Nebula as well. Here she is. Is it Nebula? Nice, yep. nice. I can only I can only subject my wife to this at least at the most one night a week. So I, I'd be <laughs> I'll just say this, Nate. You will love the paint job on the Mark IV. The camo is spectacular. It, it's literally one when you see it in person. It pops and it pops really? bad. Like the camo, yeah. You, I mean, you're used to the normal paint solid schemes on the War Machine. You see the camo. It, it almost looks like the camo that's on shotgun. All right, no, I give it a shot, man. Uh, it looks nice though. Uh, like from what I've seen so far, it's really good. But yep. damn, Toy Mafia, damn. Yeah. He was it, here it, in the it, waiting room earlier, man. Yeah, yeah, he's Toy been uh, he's been riding with us the whole time. Yeah, I remember we did the seven hour stream and then Toy Mafia just pops up. Bye bye. I was like, <laughs> hell, Toy Mafia, you've been here. Exactly. Eight hours later. All right, let's not make this eight hours. Let's just cut this guy. Let's yeah, I know. <laughs> it's no, been no, four no. already. No, yeah, yeah. We, we'll cut it. We'll cut it down because I'm not looking to do eight hours. I need to get some other stuff done tonight. Yeah, yeah, all... me too. <laughs> have I'm a good night, everybody. All right, right, folks, have a good one. Hit that like button. Yes, hit and the subscribe. Like. Subscribe, hit if, subscribe you're if you're subscribe. new to it. I uh, and I appreciate all of you coming by. And remember, we're just simple collectors trying to make our way in this Hot Toys Galaxy. That's right. Peace out, guys. Made a weapon with you. Later, guys. Always. Always.